Sports Network, WLAG 96.9, is proud to present Troop High School Football. Now let's go to the field with your announcers, Jack Mormon and Greg Hicks, right after this short break. Waltrip Steel's goal is to bring affordable metal pricing to the surrounding areas. Located at 2418 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Lynette, Waltrip Steel sells to the general public as well as commercial and industrial businesses. They offer roofing panels, commercial roofing, and complete building packages. In addition, Waltrip Steel provides all types of galvanized stainless and black metal. Give them a call today at 334-630-1117. 334-630-1117. For all your steel needs, large or small, Waldrop Steel. You still don't need to buy no ugly shirt now. Mm -hmm. At Mud Creek Graphics, we have over 23 years of experience bringing you the very best in apparel printing. Our exceptional graphic artists will work with you to create beautiful custom-designed T-shirts for any occasion. But that's not all. Mud Creek is there for you for the printing of banners and signs that will get your message across to everyone. We love supporting our local schools every year, so for your custom T-shirts, signs, banners, embroidery, and more, like Mud Creek Graphics on the Book of Faces, or visit us at 211 Greenville Street. Hey, Perry, I hear the CDC has approved the new coronavirus booster, and you've got it. Yes, Coleman, we received the Pfizer and Moderna bivalent booster. It's available. Um, it's available for your prim- either after your primary series or either your third or fourth booster two months after your last vaccine. So come by and see us. Come in and ask the pharmacist here at Holmes Pharmacy any questions, and you can find them on Commerce Avenue inside the Piggly Wiggly and in Hamilton. HolmesPharmacy.com. Hi, friends. It's T.O.W.D. here at Keeler Grange. It's October, and that means Keeler Grange is going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we will be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit, Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at KeelerGrange.com. Help support your local economy. And God bless America. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Troop High School Tiger Football. As, uh, we've found ourselves once more right underneath the uh, loudspeaker at an away game. Whoa. And it is nice and loud. But uh, we'll work past that. Uh, hey, folks, we're so glad you're joining us tonight as the Troop High School Tigers are heading up the road to uh, just south of Atlanta in Clayton County. Uh, Riverdale, uh, George, is where we are at Southern Crescent uh, Stadium. Uh, nice little stadium here. Got an asphalt uh, track around it. Uh, with a, um, a artificial field. But uh, all of the play will be truly real as the Tigers are going to be taking on the Riverdale Raiders tonight, an important matchup in region uh, in, in our region here in Quad A. And tonight I'm so thrilled that I've got uh, one of my good buddies, Mr. Fred Stanley, joining us tonight on The Color. Fred, how are you doing tonight? Doing great, Jack. Doing great, buddy. Exactly. Uh, it was a pr- pr- proud pleasure to be here uh, tonight for this exciting matchup, Troop High against Riverdale. Um, I was thinking Callaway, not Callaway Stadium, but Tower Stadium. I, I played at Tower yeah, one time. Years uh, back, but this is beautiful. It, it is. It's a, uh, it got um, aluminum stands on both sides. Actually, the, the way looks about the size of the home stands. Uh, the, the, uh, the, they're a long way up, as Fred and I have both discovered. Fred <laughs> kind of did his rocky run coming up there. I, he got to the top and flying high now as he got to the top of it. But uh, it, it, is, it is a great place to play. Um, there's the... Uh, the insignia of Clayton County there at the center of the field uh, as a couple other teams do play here as well. Uh, the Tigers come in tonight uh, undefeated on the season. It's, uh, it's, it's been going very well for them uh, they, since uh, early on in, in, uh, in the non-region schedule. Uh, they've continued to roll up victory after victory. Uh, last week, huge victory, 63 to nothing. Wow. Uh, in fact, Fred, they were running the clock in the second quarter yeah, last yeah. week. I heard. Now, that's unusual. I heard they scored 48 points. We were away at another game with Callaway, but 48 points in the first quarter. Yeah, I think you better cut the clock on and let it run even in the second quarter. It was ridiculous. Uh, and, and also, the drives were two-play drives. Right, you right. Know, one play here, one play here. I mean, it was just amazing how well the Tigers – executed on offense. And I, I was talking to Coach Glisson on our Monday night shows. Yeah. One of the things that he said that I really liked, he said, you know, he said we knew 
going in that North Clayton was not going to be able to provide quite the opponent we're used to. Right. Uh, they only had 28 kids on the field. Okay. Uh, so, it, you know, when you've only got that, I mean, even at uh, double-A for the teams Callaway plays, they're, they're putting 40-some kids on the field. You know, you know some will go both ways, but they got enough backups. you got some guys can rest. We only got 28 guys on the field. Yeah. It's going to be a long night. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a long night when you got um, not enough backups to come in to get, just give the kids a rest. Spell them. Spell them for just a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Uh, but he, one of the things he said is, we still need to play our game. We still need to execute at the level that we're used to and not bring ourselves down to what the expectation of this other thing. And they did exactly that. They went out and, and executed on offense. Uh, we, we saw a, a, a variety of guys get on the field. We'll talk in specifics about some of them in a minute. Okay. But the main offense scored all those points. But then – they continue to score points once the second and third teams got yeah, in. Yeah, now, that, yeah, that really makes you feel good. It, it's good for the kids as far as that they're, they're getting that live competitive action, regardless of the strength of the, the the opposing team. You see your guys from spring practice day in and day out. It's good to see a different face, and you're ready to compete. And you see yourself dominate. That raises your confidence on offense and defense, and you're simply ready for the next game and and uh, possibly to be a backup. Who knows at the end of the season and playoff runs? Well, it, you know, a lot of guys got seen. In this ball game. Yeah, and some of them really stood out. We'll talk about a couple of those when we come back. Let's take our first break. Go back to the station. This tonight, the Troop High School Tigers versus the Riverdale Raiders live from Southern Christian Stadium in Riverdale, Georgia. You listen to Troop High School Tiger Football on Eagle Sports. When you make the right decision, it just feels good. Like picking the perfect accent rug or choosing a good night's sleep over an all-night crime show binge. It feels really good to make the right insurance decision, too. That's why State Farm Agent Matt Orr is right here in the Grange to help you select the right protection at the right price. Matt will make sure you understand your State Farm coverages so you'll know what to expect if the unexpected happens. With State Farm Agent Matt Orr, it's easy to make the right choice. Just call him. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hello, I'm Steve Butts, pharmacist at the Medicine Cabinet on Moody Bridge Road at the medicine cabinet we hope to make you feel right at home in our stores our mission is and always has been to provide service that is exceedingly abundantly above anything a customer could ask we serve you from three locations in lagrange on moody bridge road Vernon street and our newest location at lee's crossing at the medicine cabinet we proudly offer a drive through window delivery service and immunizations we're grateful for your business and look forward to continuing our service to you for years to come rogers barbecue and catfish house a southern tradition since 1945 where we only serve u.s farm raised catfish and now you can order online on facebook or just type rogers barbecue lagrange on your google Google search engine and order right there. Then pick it up and enjoy it for the office, your family, or just you. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House is open Monday through Saturday, a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Or just search on Google Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House in LaGrange. Life costs money, sometimes lots. First Franklin Financial has loans for living. Our Hogansville and LaGrange branches offer personal loans with payment plans to fit any budget. Stop by and meet the friendly Franklin folk at the location near you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. All loan terms and applicable APRs depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested and may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to True High School Tiger Football. Jack Roman, Fred Stanley live here from Riverdale, Georgia, Southern Crescent Stadium. We're getting ready for a big region matchup between the Riverdale Raiders and your True High School Tigers. Uh, I knew I had the right man with me tonight when we walked in, and uh, he's being greeted by folks and, and calling his name. And then his uncle's up here running the clock for the game. Uh, man, I tell you what, this was this was, you were the right man for the job. Yes, sir. I, hey, I told him tonight with the powerful um, – Showing tonight for Troop Tigers. I told him we're going to try to give him a break in the second half. He might even get to go to the concession stand in the restroom. Just, just punch the go. clock. Yeah. yeah, just punch the clock and let it run. <laughs> that would be nice. But, you know, this Riverdale team coming in, uh, only three and four on the season, but that's not indicative of their region schedule. No. Uh, they've been played well in the region. Uh, they uh, took on LaGrange High School last week, uh, fell to LaGrange High. LaGrange High able to uh, have a great second half there. Uh, and with all their weapons, they kind of got things moving well. Uh, we're able to uh, keep them uh, a late surge from Riverdale. Riverdale made a, a, quite a few mistakes, had a few um, uh the turnovers that uh, LaGrange High was able to take advantage of. But one thing Riverdale did last week, kick an onside kick to start the ball game. Wow. And, uh, wow. So you, you never know what you're going to see from some of these coaches. Uh, now, there's, a, there's been some a conjecture. Did they mean to or did they not mean to? That's no respect. Uh, <laughs> 
But uh, ir- irregardless, as, as some of my students would say, uh, they still got the, uh, the, the Rangers where we get the ball midfield and uh, take it down the field. So you, you just you got to watch out. Not, not sure what's going to happen as you, as you start a game like this, uh, especially as a team. If, if I'm scouting the True High School Tigers and I look at them, I say, wait a minute. What in the world is going on? These kids rolled 63 last week against a team. Uh, just looking down from the previous ball games, right? You know, we, we uh, actually Callaway was our uh, lowest scoring game, uh, and of course now if, you, if y'all are recognizing Mr. Fred, Fred and Quay Body called the Callaway game. Yeah, so, yeah. So uh, you, you recognize that voice. Uh, the the Callaway game uh, had all of us in the booth there for that one. That's 23-14, right? In that contest, but that's the lowest showing the Tigers have had. 33 against Harris County, 49 against Hardaway, 43 against Whitewater, uh, and then 44 against Stars Mill, and then, of course, 63 against North Clayton. So uh, they're definitely putting some points on the board. Yeah. Uh, and all and, and you talk, you know, I talked about just a little bit ago, all begins and uh, doesn't seem to end with um, Teo Todd, the quarterback. Yeah, when, it, when you look at it, that's a lot of points. And um, being able to get the younger guys in, we talked about it before the game, looking at the progression of scoring. Of course, we come out and we hit them hard in the mouth at the first quarter, but you continue to see scoring in the third quarters, yep. in the fourth quarters, when the um, second string come in, when the younger guys come in. So um, um, to get yourselves in tune-up shape, ready for the second part um, or the toughest part of your season is right where you want to be. Again, um, uh, the Tigers coming in, they have a plan in what they want to do, but who knows what Riverdale team you're going to come out and see tonight. Of course, you just said they've made a few mistakes coming yep. out with the onside kick and not getting it, and then other um, a few more other mistakes during the ball game. But if they clean up those mistakes, that's a different team that you're going to be looking at tonight. Well, it's like they say, there's a reason you play the game. Yeah. Because uh, you never know how, how that uh, oddly shaped ball is going to, to bounce or, or whatever like that. Yeah. Right now they're getting ready for the national anthem in just a second. Uh, we'll step away as they get ready to start that. Uh, so we'll have that moment here at the stadium while you to listen to our, some of our fine sponsors. But I want to mention one other thing before we go to break, uh, and, and that is the amount of support. I'm looking across, and I'm seeing over 100 folks starting to arrive. Yeah. And it's uh, it, that's, okay. So the band is not playing it. Uh, they've got um, they'll be played through the loudspeakers. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and step away. When we come back, lots of words. We're getting ready for the Riverdale and the Troop High School Tigers tonight on Eagle Sports. If you need medical treatment at the highest level and want care that's personal, turn to Wellstar. We offer the latest procedures at Georgia's first certified comprehensive cardiac center, along with an innovative approach to fighting cancer, where specialists collaborate to accelerate diagnosis and treatment. We're also home to a top-level stroke program that performs life-saving operations every day. At Wellstar, we care for the whole you. Learn more at wellstar.org. Waltrip Steel's goal is to bring affordable metal pricing to the surrounding areas. Located at 2418 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Lynette, Waltrip Steel sells to the general public as well as commercial and industrial businesses. They offer roofing panels, commercial roofing, and complete building packages. In addition, Waltrip Steel provides all types of galvanized stainless and black metal. Give them a call today at 334-630-1117. 334-630-1117. For all your steel needs, Large or small, Waldrop Steel. You still don't need to buy no ugly shirt now. Mm-hmm. At Mud Creek Graphics, we have over 23 years of experience bringing you the very best in apparel printing. Our exceptional graphic artists will work with you to create beautiful custom design t shirts for any occasion. But that's not all. Mud Creek is there for you for the printing of banners and signs that will get your message across to everyone. We love supporting our local schools every year. So for your custom t shirts, signs, banners, embroidery, and more, like Mud Creek Graphics on the Book of Faces or visit us at 211 Greenville Street. Hey, Perry. Are you ready for the flu season? Coleman, we're ready. Here in September, we're ready to start giving the flu shots. Um, love to have you just stop in anytime. We have the high dose and the regular quad valent uh, flu shots. And while you're here, ask about the new bivalent COVID vaccine. Come in and find out about that and much more at Holmes Pharmacy, Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, inside of Piggly Wiggly and Sawmill in LaGrange, and in Hamilton. Also, you can find them on the web at www.homespharmacy.com. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. 
Welcome back to the Shoe High School Tiger Football. Jack Roman and Fred Stanley live here from Southern Crescent State. As the Shoe High School Tigers will be taking on the Riverdale Raiders tonight uh, in, in the Porton Region matchup. Uh, Quay, I mean, not quite. I'm so- <laughs> I'll take it. He's a great guy. Well, actually, I just looked down and saw Quay Bird's song. That's what she started talking about. Yeah. It just threw me completely off. Uh, I, I wanted to, before we started talking about some of these guys that we mentioned so much each week, uh, the running backs, those guys that lead on defense, there's some, there's five guys that we mentioned a couple weeks ago I really want to go back to tonight, and that's the front line of these two high school Tigers. Okay. Um, th- th- a couple weeks ago in the uh, Georgia High School uh, report that comes out, they were recognized as the offensive line of the week. Of course. Uh, and, of course, when you have a team that puts up six to three points, a big part of that, is your offensive line? Yeah, um, yeah. and they're doing some re- a remarkable job from the center, Stephen Davis, who's really you know your quarterback on that line. He's kind of calling calling the blocking schemes. Uh, Amarius Purdue at left guard, uh, at the right guard, Brandon Smith, Jeremy Patrick also rotating in there. Yeah. Uh, Torian Blackman, man, he's a beast yes, sir. up there. And then Isaiah Hall, so thankful to have him back. It was injured much of last year, able to come back this year and really make a difference at that right tackle. You know, those five, six guys with um, Jeremy and Brandon kind of rotating now have been just so cohesive this season um and it, it's such a blessing to have guys that are consistent and that has been a big part of why this offense has worked yeah you know back in the day when we were coming up you would see the um talk of the quarterback buying the guys rolex watches and stuff like that maybe not rolex watches but certainly a two for 449 from mcdonald's <laughs> well, you remember the uh, the isotoner gloves yeah, yeah. Uh, dan marino bought them for his offensive exactly line. Yep. exactly um, a big shout out that, that the quarterback he has to hug him whenever he sees him because it makes it it makes you more comfortable. Yeah, you're not scary in the backfield as far as scatting, trying to make something happen. But he can actually pick his hole when he wants to take it and run, which he can do, or stay in the pocket and throw that thing. And he has one of the strongest arms, if not the strongest arm in the conference. Well, I'll tell you, one of his strengths to me is also his vision. Yeah, uh, he sees downfield so well. He made a move last week. Uh, let's see, he's coming down along the hash. At the 30, he saw a guy standing on the 40. He began his move there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy took the step with him, and he was across the 50 before that guy even knew where in the world Taylor had gone. Yeah. He, um, has, a, he has a first step, Jack, and a cut. Yeah. I mean, he makes a cut on the dime, uh, a 90-degree cut going lateral, not losing any, any speed. But this is what I love. I, w- I waited two days to say this. When he finishes his run – Oh, my God. He lowers his shoulder oh, yes. and puts a boom on the defensive man instead of the defensive um, player putting a boom on him. You know, I, I, I'm sure you did. I, but I, I learned a long time ago it's much better to give than to receive when it yeah. comes to blocking exactly yeah, yeah, in the football yeah. field. I've seen Teo um, in a couple games back. Um, instead of going out of bounds, he slowed down to allow the defender to get there. So he can lay a hit on him, then go out of bounds. <laughs> so I'm gonna think you with me. He's a strong quarterback. Uh, yeah, he, he good he looking really quarterback, is. and um, but uh, again, um, great honor for that offensive line for the Tigers. Well, and also the other thing about Quay is is he has learned in the role. Yeah. Um, you know, he had some injuries a few last that oh, slowed it down last year, but he has really gone. His, his throwing motion is one of the things. If you watched him and film from his freshman year to right now. Uh, he's gone from that three-quarter sidearm that he yeah. started off with. He's coming right across that ear hole. Mm-hmm. It's a gorgeous-looking ball that comes out of his hand. Yeah, I grew up in the country. We used to call that three-quarter sidearm slanging the ball. Yeah. <laughs> but now he has a good, uh, like you said, a great quarterback motion. Yeah. Well, he, he was really good at slanging it. Uh, but he's also got some, some great guys to throw to. Quay Moss uh, has just been tremendous all season long. Yeah. Uh, we, we saw last week, um, actually, just about everybody hit a touchdown. Malachi Poitras did. Uh, Ashton Williams had a big uh, catch. Uh, Elijah. Um, it, just uh, so many different guys to go to. And then even a guy like Quay Birdsong gets in, gets the lined up at a tight end, yeah. and he caught a touchdown pass and an extra one as well. Yeah, um, they called um, Quay, uh, Quay Moss with the Swiss Army knife. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> Used in many positions. But Sinkfield, I think he's a hidden he's a hidden catalyst on that offense for the Tigers. They've moved him all around mm-hmm. as well. A great core of receivers that the Tigers have there. And, again, as we heard um, Coach say on Monday night, at the at the show at at um, your pie. At, at your pie, yeah, we we have a lot of weapons now. Yeah. Weapons. He's using that terminology as far as loving to be on offense, not struggling, trying to figure out and find out what they're going to do, not even relying on the superstar quarterback that they have. But he said we have many weapons, and we're looking forward to seeing those guys operate tonight. Well, you just said that about Logan. Uh, Logan, of course, he's he's new with the Tigers this year, and he has played all over the field. Yeah, he's not listed as a starter. 
but you'll see him out there as a wide receiver in the slot yeah. or out wide one. Uh, and he's caught touchdown passes. Uh, he's caught big across the middle passes. Yeah, um, have him listed even on defense as a cornerback, as a placeholder. Yep. So, again, kids like this is what you need. Um, now when we see them at the next level playing on Saturdays, we see them just listed as an athlete. Yep. And then they can even go to the next level combines, and they're not locked in. So it's, it's great not only to see the players to have the talent, but it's great to have coaches that can put them in strategic places to get that. a benefit out of them. Yeah, yeah I've been to told you the story. Two weeks ago, um, it's a it's a really tight ball game for the Tigers, and we really need to put another score on it. I think it was the maybe it was a Whitewater game, uh, and we were driving down. And before that drive, uh, it was about eight minutes on the clock, and I told my regular uh, partner Greg, "We need a seven minute drive. We need to get, keep the ball because we give these guys the ball. They they've been they've been coming down the field. Yeah, and uh, it, it was a six minute drive so far. Teo on a fourth on a third down." Uh, Takes the ball, goes down, gets the wind knocked out of him. I guess a little cramp. Uh-huh. Uh, and so they get ready to call timeout, but he takes his helmet off. And we did that. That meant that he had to step off the he field. Had to come out, yeah. On fourth down. Wow. And so here we are, fourth down and goal. There's, it's either, you know, all, all of it or nothing. Yeah. Uh, Coach Tap Sinkfield. Sinkfield was already lined up, you know, kind of standing there looking inside. And he says, go to quarterback. Uh-huh. Takes off his gloves, talks them to the coach. Goes back to the quarterback. Ten seconds after being told to, runs a play, throws a touchdown. Wow. I wow. Mean, you want to talk about some guts and intestinal yeah. fortitude? Yeah. Whew. That's the kind of kid that you want to have. And even going back, Jack, to the first game we called, we were in the booth together. I was in the middle between you and Quay Callaway. Bless you. <laughs> Uh, the, the the mud settled to the bottom at the fourth quarter, folks. I tell you, um, we were we were all together until the fourth quarter. They started showing who the true colors, but um, we had great fun. But that kid then in that game um, panned out to be a great uh, a great weapon. I told you then. I said it's about time for um, Teo to start throwing the ball. He had been running, running, yep. running, and after he started throwing, he made a pass to Sinkfield. I don't know if he had to eat it or catch it, so, but he came down with the ball, and, of course, it was big for the Tigers to roll on to get the win. But um, he's a great utility player to have on your team. Yes, he is. Lots more to talk about as we get ready for this contest to the Raiders of Riverdale and your true high school Tigers right here on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. It's T.O.W.D. here at Keela Grange. It's October, and that means Keela Grange is going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we will be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at keelagrange.com. Help support your local economy, and God bless America. Where can you get good neighbor service and surprisingly great insurance rates? At State Farm, because State Farm agent Matt Orr is your one-stop shop in Troop County for the service you deserve at the price you want. So stop looking around. State Farm agent Matt Orr is ready to help. Call 706-882-0046 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. When we started our small independent pharmacy, we wanted to set ourselves apart by providing service that is exceedingly, abundantly above anything a customer could ask. Well, the medicine cabinet did just that, exceed customers' expectations. As we have grown to help serve our community, our service has not been forgotten. The medicine cabinet on Moody Bridge, Vernon, and Lee's Crossing is your locally owned pharmacy. When you are a part of the medicine cabinet family, we will do everything we can to make you feel right at home. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House, a southern tradition since 1945, where we only serve U.S. farm-raised catfish. And now you can order online on Facebook or just just type Rogers Barbecue LaGrange on your Google search engine and order right there. Then pick it up and enjoy it for the office, your family, or just you. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Or just search on Google Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House in LaGrange. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. 
Welcome back to True High School Tiger Football. Jack Moore and Fred Stanley live here from Riverdale, Georgia. True High School Tigers and the Riverdale Raiders. A uh, little, little inside football here for you folks. Normally uh, we're in a, a, a press box in a booth, and uh, we actually have a, mi- a microphone that will extend out the window to pick up the crowd noise. You can <laughs> have a feel of what's going on. Well, Fred and I are the crowd uh, yes. tonight. We're, we're actually sitting in the bleachers. Uh, Brendan Moon, our, our producer, uh, has the camera out there. We're on the very top right under the press box because there just wasn't room at the end there for us. And so uh, <laughs> we, we came out and, and moved the animals out of the way, and uh, we've taken the top top three rows of things. Uh, but uh, we, we don't need a crowd mic because we have the band, just a couple of, of seats to our left. Uh, we got the, the really nice loud, loud uh, speaker that's to our left and right. So you're going to get a full feel of this ball game, folks. I can tell you that. Live. <laughs> it's going to be big and live. Now, let's take a look at our starters for tonight. I'm going to start off with our offense. So let's, uh, we, we just talked about that great line. Stephen Davis at the center. Uh, Marius Purdue at the left guard. At the right guard, Brandon uh, Smith. You'll also see Jeremy Patrick rolling in there. Isaiah Smith at the right tackle. Torian Blackman at the left tackle. Uh, wide receivers. You've got the Quay Moss. He'll usually be out alone. You'll see him sometime in at the slot. Malachi Poitras, along with Brooklyn Sink, he'll be rotating out. Uh, Ashton Williams. Then, of course, Elijah Mathis. Also, um, I hadn't talked much about him, but Rico Dunson. We've seen him yeah. come in and out as well. They'll be playing at that little inside fullback position uh, that we don't talk a lot about. It's, it's really a, mostly a blocking position in this new offense that we're running. Uh, they typically line up behind the tackle. Uh, it's almost like an interior wing, yeah, uh, but yeah. it's just a, uh, a very effective because it has been all season long. Rico is a great kid. He was one of my students over at Lone Cane. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great kid. Uh, then we move into the interior of the backfield. Uh, Javari Fan and Trey Blackman. Cam Cameron, who had an outstanding ball game last week, especially as, uh, as things kind of uh, began to slow down for the starting offense. He came in and just put on a show. <laughs> I think he had uh, maybe two – Two, maybe three touchdowns in the in the uh, second, all the way down to the fourth quarter. Uh, just played an outstanding ball game. Yeah, yeah. Um, had him down for 182 yards, almost 200 yards coming off the bench as a third level backup. <laughs> Third little back up. That shows you what type of um, wow. game the Tigers had last week. And so the Tiger defense from tonight will have a defensive end, um, the big man himself, Quay Birdsong, at defensive tackle. You he's got some colleges looking at him. Yeah, yeah, he has some colleges looking at him. Um, it's great the way they're using him on defense as well as offense. He's been to a lot of camps, and um, he should play. We should see him play on Saturday. Oh, uh, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. As well as Ben Taylor at defensive tackle. Charles Davis at nose guard, defensive end um, Jacob Bailey, at strong linebacker Tyler Leslie, um, at Mike Javari Fanning, wheel linebacker T.J. Mitchell. Now all of these guys I'm naming, I'm getting chill bumps because again they came through Lone Cane when I was there. Uh, and T.J., <laughs> you'll see T.J. rolling in on the offense some as a running back too. Exactly. He's very effective. Yeah, yeah, great offensive player. Um, at cornerback, you got Quay Moss and Logan Sinkfield. We talked about them a whole lot on the offensive side, but they play defense as well. Um, cornerback, C.J. Sands on the other side. I think he almost had a – if he didn't have – he had a pick and almost had a second pick last week. He's, a, he's, he's the kind of guy that will get up and go get a ball. Yeah, those are athletic guys. You know they feel comfortable. They know the game, so you can put the ball in their hands. Um, at free, free safety, Noah D- Dixon, he's getting a lot of looks as well. Yep. At, um, from colleges, he's he's ranked high in the top 50 in Georgia. Um, at Rover, Jalen Reed, and the kicker Chris Moore. I tell you what, Chris has really coming along and done a tremendous job this season, both punting the ball, kicking the extra points, and field goals. Uh, I, I don't know that he's missed an extra point this season. Uh, I think he had one field goal go a little bit a uh, little bit low on him, but just has played very very effectively yeah. this year. Looking down at the field, we got our captains coming out. We'll try to catch those numbers. Uh, Let's see. We got number 13, of course, and that's Teo Todd. Uh, it, yeah, that's who you want to put out there on the field to start things off. Uh, then we got 55, Charles Davis. A uh, bit of a mound, a bit of a man mountain out there. Yeah. 77, Brady Horn tonight. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, that's Brady Horn. That's uh, Brady Smith. Sorry. Uh, Something else I didn't mention. Most of these guys are juniors on that offense. That's great. That's, just a, that's a lovely thing too. And then sixty-three. Uh, that's Jeremy Patrick. Uh, those are some big old boys down there yeah. on, on the offensive line. It's senior night, uh, of course, up here at Riverdale, and they're honoring the seniors. Have all of those guys lined up at, cap- at captain. But number three, um, Octavius Ison is on the field to represent Riverdale. As we were scouting them a little bit, uh, Ison seems to be where the offense kind of rolls through. He's their quarterback. Yeah. Uh, and looks like he's he's the kind of guy that 
uh, will pass the ball, but he's not going to be uh, doing that exclusively. He'll, he'll, he'll they'll run the ball quite a bit as well. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like the Tigers have one. And they've elected to receive wow. to start things. Uh, well, when you got an offense that puts this many points on the board, it's going to get them out there. Yeah, defensive strategy. You want to put pressure on your opposing team any way you can. Exactly. And the Tigers want to put the offense out there. All right. Well, they're fixing to hit the breakthrough. Uh, everybody's jumped through, and we're ready for a ball game. Let's take one more break. We'll come back. We'll have a kickoff live here from Riverdale, Georgia, on Eagle Sports. You want pizza. Your whole family wants pizza. But you want it your way, and the kids want it three different ways. So what do you do? You need your pie in LaGrange on Bull Street because at your pie, you get your own pizza pie made just for you. Add as many toppings as you want, and the kids make theirs as wacky as they like. Then you enjoy your pizza at your pie while your family debates what your youngest ordered. Is it a pizza or a new dish altogether? Your pie, Bull Street, downtown LaGrange. Life costs money, sometimes lots. First Franklin Financial has loans for living. Our Hogansville and LaGrange branches offer personal loans with payment plans to fit any budget. Stop by and meet the friendly Franklin folk at the location near you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. All loan terms and applicable APRs depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested and may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. About ready for kickoff. And lots of uh, other big games going on tonight in Region 4. Uh, you got Fayette County and Stars Mill. Uh, Fayette County um, struggling this season. 1-5, Stars Mill 4-2. Of course, the Tigers here against Riverdale. Uh, North Clayton and LaGrange. That's at, back in LaGrange, Georgia. Um, the Grangers look to, uh, will hope to uh, have a great homecoming there. Home then uh, Trinity Christian taking on Whitewater. That's going to be a ball game right there. 4-2 yeah. and two against 5-1. and one. Uh, that's going to decide a lot about what's going on in this region. It is. You don't want to look past this game. Um, but, again, that is one of the games that we have to look down schedule to against Trinity Christian yep. uh, for the Tigers. This one is a big one, um, getting past Riverdale. But, again, that will be another one as well. Well, we don't end with those two games. We end with Trinity Christian and then LaGrange. And then LaGrange. So, uh, it's, yeah. it's still a lot of football yeah. to be played this year. Anything can happen in those three games. All right. They address the football. There's the kick. Heads down the field, and it's a short kick, pops up, picked up, and around the side go the Tigers, and a nice little run. I think it's Quay Birdsong. <laughs> it is. It's Quay back there <laughs> doing it all, and has a great run around the right side after a little bit of a bobble at the 20, not by Quay, but the guy in front of him. And Quay takes all the way around the other side, maybe all the way to the 40. Let's see. Yeah, a little squib kick kicked by the Riverdale kicker there. He bobbled it a little bit at the 30, was able to pick it up at the 25 and go around the right side to pick up a nice little gain for about 15 yards. It's going to be first and 10 for the Tigers at the 40. Yep. A great way to start the game. <laughs> yes, sir. Tremendous field position. Tigers split uh, two guys out wide to this near side. That little fullback we talked about, he'll back, be back to this left side. Single back to the backfield, goes in motion. Tail takes it, he'll run it himself up the middle and just barrels over a guy after a gain of six. Contact was made at, at the two-yard line, and then uh, Tail is brought down after a six-yard gain. <laughs> Number 32, Marcus Torrance. Yeah. Uh, he's a uh, sophomore linebacker. He got to know Tail up close and personal in the first play. Yes, sir. Four-yard pickup brings up second and four for the Tigers. Tigers back up the line of scrimmage. Twins this near side. Tight end on the right side. Tail back to pass. Looking. Got some time. Throws it downfield. And caught. Try to see who caught that. Sinkfield. Sinkfield. Logan Sinkfield. Yeah. With a great catch across the middle. I mean, all the way down to the 25-yard line. As we talked about him, front line gave Teo Todd plenty of time to throw the ball. Um, Sinkfield made a great move to go across the middle of the field, picking up about 30 yards on the pickup. Already down right at the 20-yard line. These Tigers are moving the ball quickly. Uh, 11 minutes, just one minute off so far in this contest, already down to the 20. Teo in the pistol. Hands the ball off around the right side. We go to the Tigers. That's Blackman, and he's going to go in for a touchdown. Touchdown, Tigers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Trey Blackman, I tell you, we didn't mention his name any during pregame, but he's been a staple 
in that running backfield for the Tigers tonight. Once he got the ball, he proved to be not just one of the smallest players, but one of the strongest players on the field for that series, and then I'm taking it in for a 20-yard touchdown. Gorgeous job of blocking on that right side. Just blew it right open for him. Yeah. Now here comes Moore to attempt the point after touchdown. Actually, nope. They're going to swing the gate, and they're going to go for two. So Taylor will stand in there, call for it. He'll run himself around the right side, cuts inside, goes in the end zone without being touched. Two-point conversion is good. Eight to nothing with 10.46 left to go in this first quarter of play. Let's take 60 seconds back to the station on Eagle Sports. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. To learn more about award-winning health care, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. Waltrip Steel's goal is to bring affordable metal pricing to the surrounding areas. Located at 2418 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Lynette, Waltrip Steel sells to the general public as well as commercial and industrial businesses. They offer roofing panels, commercial roofing, and complete building packages. In addition, Waltrip Steel provides all types of galvanized stainless and black metal. Give them a call today at 334-630-1117. 334 334- 634-630-1117. For all your steel needs, large or small, Waldrop Steel. Now let's get back to the action. Truth High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Moore with a great kickoff all the way down to the two-yard line. Taking the field. Good job on the return by Riverdale. Keep it up above the 20. Yeah. That was Jaden Howard for the Raiders. Getting out to uh, maybe the 21-yard line. Better than the 35. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see this um, Tiger defense come out again. And if it works anything like the offense did, uh, again, I, I can keep my promise to my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gets to uh, just put a finger on the button and go. Take a break. All right. So let's see how they line up. They're going to be in a shotgun. They've got uh, stacked twins to the left and right. Put a man in motion from the far side. And back to pass. Throw it here on first down. Got a receiver down there and a big catch. And I tell you, he got behind our guy out there. That's number 20. Uh, yeah. Noah Dixon. Noah let him get behind him. Yeah, big catch again. We just mentioned the kid's name, Jaden Howard, down the left side. Uh, was able to run underneath a great pass by the quarterback for the Raiders. Taking advantage of the aluminum stand, stomping the feet out there. <laughs> yeah, 38 yard strike is going to bring the ball across the 50. First and 10 for the Raiders. Ball at the 42 yard line. 8 so, 0 Tigers. So they're not scared to go for it. They're going to give it everything they got. Yes, sir. Turn around, hand the ball off. We miss him in the backfield. He's going to get some good yardage. Finally getting brought down to the 35. About a seven yard, actually, eight yard run. Second down to two. Yeah, uh, number three, Octavius Ison. The one who um, you probably hear his college name a lot tonight. They like to lean on Ison as far as their running threat, but brought down by number 20, Noah Dixon, um, after picking up about seven. Second down. The Tigers leading right now eight to nothing. We're in the first quarter play, 940 left to go in the first. Ison running around that right side that time showed a little bit of strength. So uh, we yeah, he's, gotta... he's, he's a tough guy. Yeah. Back to pass against the quarterback, throws it. And it's going to go incomplete, just thrown out of bounds. It did have a receiver out there. Pressure on the play coming straight up the middle um, for the Tigers. We had number six, Javari Fanning, came in and rushed the quarterback, made him overthrow that ball slightly. Just enough, though, to bring it up for a third down and four. Yeah, he, heard some, he heard for a few footsteps coming up behind him. Exactly. I thought a flag was thrown on the play, but that was actually a bird. <laughs> flying through. <laughs> bird flag through there. <laughs> So watch out, that ball will take you down. <laughs> Fogler, Chandler Fogler is the quarterback. Okay. So he'll stand in there with the man to his left. And that should be all sides. Yeah. Maybe, is it against us or them? That was the question. Uh, it's all sides, um, but that's a little acting there, a little great acting by Aston Williams. Attempting to act like he was taking off and uh, yeah, cause our man to jump off sides. I don't know if, if the quarterback can't give a hard snap 
Um, what about the running back? We'll have to check that. Well, then also the man in motion did a stutter step. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying. He did a stutter step as if he was tripping or sneezing. Yep. Come around the right side. Great job of uh, by Trey Blackman to make the tackle. As yep. uh, they're going to get about four, maybe five out of the out, second and five. On the carry, Darian Dyer for uh, Riverdale Raiders there. Yeah, it's going to be a little trickery, but again, we didn't come in thinking that they were going to give no. it to us. We've got to play every down. Great point. As Riverdale, they're in all black with uh, white numbers tonight. Yeah. And the uh, the Tigers in their travel, blue, navy blue pants, white tops with the gold trim. The rocket tee on the side of the helmet. <laughs> Fugger will stand in there, call for it, fake the handoff. Here comes the pressure. Throws, and good coverage. Nothing doing there. Good coverage on the plate. Um, Birdsong was in there putting a little pressure on the quarterback, Foger. Um, you were talking about how they're not afraid to let that ball air out. Um, Foger, he's throwing about 107 yards um, per game. And then um, whenever they're not leaning on him, of course, we've talked about Ison. He's averaging about 116 per game. Yep. So we're going to try to keep those guys under 100. And, of course, their biggest quarter is the first quarter. It, it, we can lock them in now. Well, you, you can see that. They're, yeah. they're, they're an explosive offense. Yeah. A lot of motion, a lot of moving. Number three is going to get the carry. We Ah, we miss him in the backfield. He's down to the 10, cuts loose, and he'll be taken out of bounds down about the two. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, we missed him in the backfield. Missed him in the backfield. He did that little stutter step as he did going in motion. Um, but once he got around the corner, he was able to get out there. A nice block he had on the outside by the uh, receiver. Very close to a hold, but, hey, no flag, no foul. You keep on rolling. Uh, get down to the two-yard line where it's going to be first and goal. Well, that's not going to get on my nerves tonight. No, we're, we're, we're <laughs> going to do all we can to stop all of that. <laughs> I don't, guys, I don't need to hear that anymore. Y'all can take care of that for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, we've got to sit it down to the side. Right, first and goal for the Raiders. Right now, the Tigers leading 8 to nothing. The Raiders are going to try to put it in here, hand the ball off to their tailback. He's going to push inside. That's going to be a touchdown. Looks yeah. like to me. Got a great surge by his offensive line, getting behind him and pushing him. Just over close enough for a touchdown. So Riverdale answers with a touchdown. So Ison was the guy we talked about, and he's definitely showing up so far tonight in this contest. They seem to be lining up, though, for a point after kick, not the two-point conversion. So snap, hold, kick is up, and it's flying off through the night, but through there. 8-7 to seven is your score. Tigers leading right now with 8.21 left to go in the first. Second break, 30 seconds. Back to the station on Eagle Sports. You still don't need to buy no ugly shirt now. Mm-hmm. At Mud Creek Graphics, we have over 23 years of experience bringing you the very best in apparel printing. Our exceptional graphic artists will work with you to create beautiful custom-designed T-shirts for any occasion. But that's not all. Mud Creek is there for you for the printing of banners and signs that will get your message across to everyone. We love supporting our local schools every year, so for your custom T-shirts, signs, banners, embroidery, and more, like Mud Creek Graphics on the Book of Faces, or visit us at 211 Greenville Street. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. Back deeper, Quay Moss and Taylor Todd for the Tigers. Yeah. Talking about the kicker, Jordan Ang. Uh, was able to put that one through to point out the touchdown with no, no effect. Little pooch kick here. Again, field by the up man. And up the field we go to the yeah. 30. Picking our way through. Nice up to the 35, 40. Still down the field, midfield. Yes, sir. And across midfield to the 47. It's a great return by the Tigers. Yeah, number 12. We called his name before, and we'll keep calling it all night. Um, Sinkfield. Logan Sinkfield comes across the 50-yard line, picked up a nice wall around the right side for the Tigers. Again, catching the ball at the, about the 35-yard line, was able to get plenty of yards to put us in great position to start this first down. So Sinkfield to the four. Across the 50 to the 46. Yeah. Again, great uses of this guy, these guys, man. I'm telling you, put them in so many spots that they're able to make a big difference. And not just um, for a play or two, but actually for scores. We'll stack twins to this near side. A little fullback position on the inside to this near side. Pistol set. Quick, quick toss out to Moss. Moss up the field to the 40. 35 makes a cut to the 30. 
and down at the 28-yard line. Yeah, yeah, nice first down play for um, Coach there coming out, getting it to Moss. He was at actually 12 yards before he was touched along his left side over here for a first down for the Tigers. You know, how do you do that? He's quick. I mean, he's quick as well, cotton in the wind. The, the, way the, 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 <laughs> the way the the stacked uh, the stacked ends were, he's got a blocker immediately in front of him. Yeah. Uh, so it allows him to catch the ball and just turn up field. Yeah, great-looking kid. Same play, going back the other way. And look at him go. Another first down. Inside of Silver's feet, down to the 10. Yeah, yeah. 10 what? more yards, actually 20 more yards for um, for Quay Moss. I mean, we call him the, the, the Swiss Army Knife, but this kid, he's making this defense work from north to south as well as east to west on this field. He pulled out the big knife and it was cutting all over the place on that one. <laughs> I'm telling you, great-looking kid. They'll stack once more on the outside. Can we run it three times? Let's see. There's a snap. Turns, throws it. This time it's Sinkfield. Sinkfield gets it inside the 10. Still feet down inside the 5. It's effective three times in a row. <laughs> three times in a row. Coach, hey, hey, if it's not broken, don't fix it, baby. I tell you. Three times in a row, the result has been the same. This time we got about 6 instead of 10 or 15, but we're inside the 5-yard line. Um, second down and up. goal. Yeah. I, I remember... So years ago, LaGrange did that to Troop High School all night. Ran that same play, left, right, left, right. Wow, we lined up for it again. This time, a handoff into the line. And the punishing, punishing oh, yards. Oh, come on, you got to give that to it. Oh, they're going to stop fanning at the uh, one. Yeah, uh, the, the, half, the inch yard line. Um, great drive so far by the Tigers. 639 left in the first quarter still. Tigers 8, Raiders 7. Tigers going to try to punch it in right here. And we do with a nice extra effort. Oh, yeah. Uh, at that point in time, uh, the Raiders tried to do something that we haven't seen being done all year. One man bring down Teo Tuck. No, didn't happen. <laughs> Teo's hit. They're holding on to him. He just makes one quick spin, pulls three guys down, and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. But, you know, it's, it, it, he'll get the, the, the notoriety of getting the touchdown. But that was a Quay Moss and Logan Singfield drive. Exactly, exactly. Quay Moss came out and hit him twice, real strong to go down, pick up about 35 yards. Then um, Singfield coming up with about 12 more, putting Teo right in position to score. So here comes more for the point after touchdown. And either we moved or they moved. It's going to be offsides on the defense. And Moore's going to exit the field, and we're uh, going to bring in some beef. Here, here comes the two-point conversion attempt. <laughs> yeah. It has a great effort, great, a great opportunity here. And now it's whistled. It's going to be offsides yeah. again. It's going to bring it even closer. Oh, my goodness gracious. R Riverdale was trying to make an adjustment to get some beefy defensive linemen into the ball game, but to no avail. Um, they're going to be called offsides. This is not college. We don't have to wait on you <laughs> no. to get your, your substitutions in. Now it seems that everyone is set. Tiger's going for two points. Taylor takes the snap, runs up field, Untouched. goes to the end zone. Nobody touches him. Move all the guys you around you want to. You can still get to match that speed. 16 to 7 is your score with six. Only 6.28 left to go in the first quarter. <laughs> Folks, it's going to be a good ball game. Yes, you listen sir. to Triple High School Tiger Football on Eagle Sports. Hey, Perry, I hear the CDC has approved the new coronavirus booster, and you've got it. Yes, Coleman, we received the Pfizer and Moderna bivalent booster. It's available. Um, it's available for your prime, either after your primary series or either your third or fourth booster two months after your last vaccine. So come by and see us. Come in and ask the pharmacist here at Holmes Pharmacy any questions, and you can find them on Commerce Avenue, inside the Piggly Wiggly, and in Hamilton. HomesPharmacy.com. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Tigers are running up and down the field here on offense. Uh, it, uh, tighten the defense down a little bit. But Riverdale has been a first-quarter team. Uh, look at some stats. Almost all their points have been the first quarter this year. Yeah. There's just the kick all the way down this time to the six. And up the field comes Riverdale. Pushes one of his men out of the way. And then falls just shy of the 25. So it looks like they'll mark it right there at the 25-yard line. Yeah, Jack, the workhorse has been thus far for the Raiders. Um, Jaden Howard, 
um, on these kickoffs. We've seen him on a couple passes as well. Um, but to Noah Bell, like you said uh, uh, earlier, um, in times past, Riverdale has been strong in the first quarter, but only scoring seven now. Of course, this is their second time on the field. But if we could get a great start right here, this would put us in good shape for the second quarter yep. <laughs> to get the running clock. <laughs> Up to the line of scrimmage comes Riverdale. They'll stand in the shotgun set. Quarterback by himself, double wing set. Man coming in motion from the far side. He hits that uh, sweep, turns back inside, and is met by a host of Tiger Tacklers, including. Trying to keep off the bottom of the pile there. Yeah. 16 for the Tigers. Comes off the bottom of the pile. Hard kind of see who that the best ben, was. Ta ben Taylor was the uh, man that made the tackle. Yeah. You know, we talk so much about Quay. Ben Taylor on the other side. He's a tremendous athlete as well. He big is. old boy. He is. Um, speaking about Riverdale, they're, they're big about pulling that guard, coming around his right side and the back, getting right up under him. But this time, the Tigers were able to get around those blockers to stop him for only a yard gain. Yep. Quarterback puts another man in motion, fakes it to him. That's There's hard. a hold in the backfield. And they didn't call it. They did not call it. Ball falls incomplete. <laughs> but, my gosh, he was riding him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He was right there in front of the officials. Of course, they're sporting those um, fans. They're sporting the, the pink flags this week for, for breast cancer awareness, but nothing hit the field on that time. No, nothing pink, yellow. Uh -uh. Yeah. Second, uh, well, make that third down. Third down and eight for the Raiders. Incomplete pass down the middle of the field. Great coverage um, by the safety, Dixon, and the cornerbacks, uh, Moss. Here they come again. The stack wings on the left side. So you know, this near right side. There's a snap turn, handoff, right up the middle. That's not where I'm going to try to run against the Tigers. Yeah. They'll get to the 30. But that's not going to be enough. This will be fourth down. They're keying everything uh, um, so far uh, behind. There's a huge kid. He's standing about 6'5", 260. Uh, uh, 58. Khalil, yes, uh, 88. Um, Khalil Anunzita, Zieta. Excuse uh, me for mispronouncing his name. <laughs> his first name is Khalil. <laughs> there you go. 6'5", uh, 260. He's a huge kid, but um, Just the Tigers sophomore. were able to stop that up. Yeah, great-looking kid. So four and out, they'll have to punt the ball. But, hey, they do like to the trick play, so watch this. Tigers have no one back deep. It's going to be a timeout called by the Tigers. Coach Glisson. They take a timeout. We'll take one as well. Uh, right now, the Tigers leading 16-7. to seven. Uh, About 60 seconds back to the station. On Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. It's T.O.W.D. here at Keeler Grange. It's October, and that means Keeler Grange is going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we will be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit, Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at KeelerGrange.com. Help. Support your local economy, and God bless America. I can't believe I just scratched that car. Find my insurance card. Dude, what do you have in your glove box? Ooh, are those socks dirty? Forget about the socks. I need my insurance card. Just pull it up on the State Farm mobile app. I can do that? Yep, it's called service. Oh, hey, I can do that. Yeah, it's called service. I can file a claim on here, too? It's called service. Whoa, I can call my agent, too. Call State Farm agent Matt Orr at 706-882-0046. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Well, welcome back. And one of the silliest plays I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Coming out of a timeout, Riverdale lines up their punt team. Actually, not really their punt team. But it's their, their quarterback. Down, yeah. uh, and then they all run off the field. But the only problem is the lineman got set. Uh, once you're set, you can't get up and move, and they did. Uh, so now here comes the punting team. There's the snap. He'll get the kickoff. Nice high kick. Yeah. And he'll bounce down. Take a tiger bounce. And let's see, they're going to put it down about the 46-yard line. That's where the Tigers will have it, first and 10. Another great set of field position. Yeah, exactly right. Um, great for great defensive stand for the defense to get off of the field, to get the offense back on the field with 4.43 left, up 16-7. to 7. Tigers are in a great spot to score again. But, again, on that play, strange play. <laughs> again, strange play, I guess. It was one official that threw the flag and then had to explain himself to everyone else. Yeah, the, the – um, 
great observation. The linemen, once they have their hands down, they can't move from that position. So first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball at the 45-yard line. Line up in that awesome um, double man slot. Yep. Oh, oh got him. Uh, tail. They kind of pumps and it goes downfield. Good coverage, though, Yeah. by the uh, Riverdale Raiders. Malachi Porches, all he had to do was keep running on that play. Um, line up in the same set. Third play call from the same set. Um, Tail faked the, the, the throw going out wide, and the uh, one of the defenders bit on that fake, and Porches stopped running. But if he would have kept running, that could have been um, six. So here they come the Tigers again. Tail calls his own number, winding his way down. The, my goodness gracious, dragging players. There's seven guys on the ground, and Tail's at the front of it. I tell you, no, no offense, but, but if I couldn't see, if I would just hear that play, <laughs> I would have been excited. Um, Teo Todd is one of the hardest runners that we've ever seen all year. Picking up eight on that play brings up third and two for the Tigers. Teo will hand the ball off. Going around the right side, punching it through, still on their feet. Let's see, that's a right foot spot. That's going to be a first down. Yeah. Um, Trey Blackman on that yep. carry, I tell you. You're not going to find anyone. As tough as Trey Blackman Jr. As a family. Play. <laughs> I, tell you, I tell you, he's a great kid, man. I see his, um, we still have some of the Blackmans at Lone Cane right now. And, um, I mean, I see him at the barbershop. He's a great kid, great family. All right, so Taylor standing in there again. First down. Back to pass. Rolls this new side. Now tucks it. Makes, oh, my goodness. Makes three men a miss. They grab it his face. He's still on his feet. Finally gets to the 40, a gain of four after making half the team miss it. We heard a lot of oohs, ahs, whoa, <laughs> for three yards. Tao Todd, man, that's the answer. <laughs> it, it's almost like watching a point guard work his way around a center. Exactly. Backyard ball yep. <laughs> at his best. Um, picks up three on that, brings up second and seven. Want to give a big shout-out, too, for the best principal, one of the best principals in Troop County, Miss Glisson, my principal over at that Lone Caney uh, Middle School. Oh, she's awesome. <laughs> oh, what a great burst from the inside inside following this blocking. Trey Blackman will get close to a first down, yeah. down to the 35, but the speed, he hit that hole. It was amazing. Picks up seven on that play. Um, great running by Trey, as you said. Um, he's going to bring up third down and a short two. Okay, we'll, we'll let him get that out. Um, but our plan is, is is to put the mic on mute tonight. It's, We're gonna put the mic on mute. He's been nice. I haven't said anything. Be second to him. down. <laughs> Touchdown. Yeah, it's a touchdown. <laughs> That's what we want to say. Tail fakes the uh, toss, picks up the first down across the thirty. Nice little play. Is uh, we do run that option, that quick option around the right side. Yeah. Uh, he fakes the toss and just cuts back inside. We have a flag on the play thrown from this side. Tigers are motioning it's going to be against the Raiders. Could be face mask or possibly a chop block. <laughs> no, no, chop block would be against us. Typically. It's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they had a defensive blocking. Personal foul, face mask. Look at you calling it. Yeah. Look at you calling it. Oh, Made the right call and messed it up with the sack. <laughs> Just sometimes less is more. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes we've got to find a way to censor ourselves. It's hard. But I but I am calling with, with, with you, so I, my nerves are on edge right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do my best. Here come the Tigers again. 16-7 in favor of the Tigers. Two minutes and two seconds left to go in the first. Fannin will be in the backfield along with Todd. Man in motion. It'll be handed to him at Sinkfield, coming from outside, cuts inside. He's inside the 10, down to about the 8. Yeah, great. I mean, Sinkfield came all the way from the wide-out position on the right, came across, got the handoff, picked up 8 yards. It looked like everybody was just watching them to see where he was going to run. Well, it was interesting the way, the way they lined that up. He's at the far out, yeah. but he's not the man on the line. No. He, he's actually back, and the slot receiver steps over on the line. Yeah, 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 making sure that they had – um, enough players on the line of scrimmage. Again, great precision. Fannin will step in the pistol set behind Teo. Teo will toss it to Fannin. Fannin cuts right in front of him, spins, bounces inside the five, and finally brought down. Yeah. 
for the sake of running that play, I think he tossed that one just to keep everything even. I think he was just being nice. He said, yeah, yeah, you bought my dinner the other night. He goes, you're going to be that blizzard at Dairy Queen. Here you go. I'll hook you up. Yeah, it's going to be first and goal for the Tigers after that short short game, first and five. Tail hands the ball off into the end zone. Go the Tigers. Another touchdown. Touchdown, Tigers. Yeah. Javari Fannin. Yes, sir. Right into the end zone. Great run. Again, the Tigers have found some pay dirt straight up the middle, not making it too hard. The in- interior linemen um, that we talked about at the beginning of the game are, are creating huge holes for the offensive line. We've seen um, Trey Blackman go up, now Jabari Fanning going up for a score. Um, great, great offensive series again for the Tigers on that on that possession. But Chris Moore can kick a, an extra point. That's not the issue. But they swung the gate in. They go for two again. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, been in motion. Tail, little t- jump pass, caught in the end zone. Yes, sir. Did he go out the back or did he get no, good? he caught that. Caught it. <laughs> and that's that should be bird song. <laughs> yeah, going up and grabbing it for the two point conversion. That's the cutest. Thing. That little uh, uh, Tim Tebow play. <laughs> yeah. it's just gorgeous. It's almost like an alley oop. Exactly. But, but we'll keep it in context. The uh, Tail Todd imitation of Tim Tebow. <laughs> Twenty four to seven is your score with fifty four seconds left to go in this first quarter. 60, excuse me, 30 seconds, back to the station on Eagle Sports. WLAGAM LaGrange and W245AW LaGrange. Troop High School Football is brought to you by Kia of LaGrange. Hi, I'm Dennis Montgomery, the pharmacist at the medicine cabinet on Vernon Street. Everybody knows about our customer service when it comes to the pharmacy. We also do COVID, flu, shingles, and pneumonia vaccines. But do you know about our soda shop and gift shop? We have sodas, milkshakes, floats, and sundaes. And our gift shop, as something for all occasions. So come by and see us at the Medicine Cabinet on Vernon Street. Also, visit our other two locations at Lee's Crossing and Moody Bridge Road. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. And Moore's kick takes a bounce. And actually, it helps out Riverdale a little bit as their uh, back man will watch it bounce Pick it up on a run and head up the field pretty quick. Yeah. A little extracurricular activity on the far side. Yeah. We overran our coverage on that play. Um, luckily, everyone stayed in their lanes. We were able to bring the um, runner down for the Raiders coming out again. We ran – as he was coming forward, we ran straight yeah. by him. So, um, he was able to pick up about 15 yards. And it's going to be first and 10 for the Raiders from a, around the 39. Their best starting position so far in this contest. That's far. You know, Fred, I was just thinking about it. That those two point conversions, that's almost like you can look at it as either two extra field goals or another touchdown yep. that they've been put up like that. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. And that's big when it comes to an offense that has struggled to find its rhythm. Riverdale will run that sweep again. That's been their most effective play around this outside. Ice in the ball carrier. Eight yards on the carry, um, forced out of bounds by CJ Sands there. Again, as, as we were saying, it's, um, Riverdale's been pinching, been pinching, been pinching, but not able to get a whole lot of success um, in this first quarter. Just knocked out of bounds just shy of the first down. They're hitting about midfield. Still a lot of football to play in the first half. Okay, so they're not taking their feet off the uh, gas at all. Hand off into the line. Try to cut it back. Nothing doing. Won't get the first down on that play. It'll bring up third. Yeah. Third <laughs> down. <laughs> Big Jabari Fannin and Jacob Bailey right there standing up the uh, Raider runner in his tracks on the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second down and two. Of course, we talked about pay dirt in the middle of the field for us on offense, but nothing doing for this Tiger defense. Standing up strong right there on that second down play. All right, so they're going to not uh, run another play to let the clock wear out. And so that's the end of the first quarter play right now. Tigers leading this one 24-7. Lots more football to go, as Fred says, said a moment ago. Let's take a quick 60-second break. Back to the station right here on Eagle Sports. 
Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House, a southern tradition since 1945, where we only serve U.S. farm-raised catfish. And now you can order online on Facebook or just type Rogers Barbecue LaGrange on your Google search engine and order right there. Then pick it up and enjoy it for the office, your family, or just you. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Or just search on Google Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House in LaGrange. Life costs money, sometimes lots. First Franklin Financial has loans for living. Our Hogansville and LaGrange branches offer personal loans with payment plans to fit any budget. Stop by and meet the friendly Franklin folk at the location near you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. All loan terms and applicable APRs depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested and may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. Now let's get back to the action. Truth High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back as they'll throw a swing pass to Eisen. And wow, does Trey Blackman react well to it? <laughs> He'll bring him down short of the first down. He'll actually lose about three yards on the play. So it's fourth down now and five. Boy, I tell you, but if it, if it wasn't a shame to say it, he reminds me of a player that I've seen play wearing 10 before. <laughs> That wore the last name Blackman, but he's he stands up on his own. Yes, he does. Um, yes, he does. Yeah, great, great play, breaking on the ball once Ison tried to come out left, and it's gotten better every ball game yeah. throughout the season. Yeah, yeah. They line up to punt the ball. It bounces up to the punter. He barely gets it off, but it's a good punt. It'll be taken, and we slip down right there at the fifteen. Yeah. And uh, Quay just his cleats gave out from under him. I think he was a little bit too honest on that play. The official may have let him kept going, but uh, great play there. But even a better play by T.J. Mitchell, not yeah. running into the kicker. Um, yeah. Seeing that he, uh, although the ball did bounce to the kicker, T.J. made a great play not to run into the kicker to give the ball back to the Raiders. First and ten now starting for uh, the Tigers ball at the 14-yard line. Let's see, can we score again? So this is the deepest the Tigers have been in this contest. As they'll start, as you mentioned. Deeper, deeper drives make longer runs. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Starting for the 15. Here they come. Go a little tight this time. Yeah. Different wrinkle. Don't see the play clock on there, but... Uh, they're kind of taking that time. It's going to be a timeout by Coach Glisson. Yeah, they, I think they liked what they saw once they lined up. So they'll take a timeout. We'll take one as well. 24-7 to 7 is your score in favor of the Troop High School Tigers. We're in the second quarter of play. We'll take uh, 30 seconds back to the station on Eagle Sports. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. To learn more about award-winning health care, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. Now let's get back to the action. Truth High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Truth High School Tiger Football. Jack Mormon, Fred Stanley, we're live here in Riverdale, Georgia. And here come the Tigers at about the 15-yard line. Tail back to pass, looking. Looks outside, throws his way downfield. He's got a man. And it's going to fall incomplete. Oh, man. man. So close. Yeah, C.J. Sands ran underneath that ball. Tried to turn around and make a basket catch, which is easy to say could have been caught up here. <laughs> yeah. but, but once we put the cleats on the field, it's a whole other ball ball game. Wow. Teo Todd scrambled. Uh, still yet didn't pull the ball down and ran. Showed great composure. Saw C.J. Sands had gotten behind his um, defender. Tried to make a great throw. Man, threw that ball 10, 20, 30, 40, about 50 yards in the air on yeah, the run. Way down the field. <laughs> Man goes in motion in the backfield. Now, Tail will keep it. And right now, they're going to key on him that time. Yeah. A little extra and, play. Uh, well, a little extra curricular there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still no flags being Stay thrown. Beat number 34, George Hill at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> I don't think they need to give George Hill anything else to feel cocky about because 
<laughs> He's going to get a flag thrown on him in a minute. Uh, obviously, our announcer just got to the game. <laughs> So what down is it, Fred? I, I can't. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's third down. Yeah, yeah. Score 24-7. Tigers lead the Raiders 10-19 left in the second quarter. I love it. Fred just points to the scoreboard. <laughs> Complete pass by Taylor on the run. And down the field we go. And who, who does he throw to when he needs a man? <laughs> Logan Sinkfield. Sinkfield for a 30-yard pickup for the Tigers. He, he, a guy was all over Todd. It may have been Hill that we just mentioned a minute ago who thought he was the biggest thing on the field. Yeah. Uh, he goes, he, he misses him. Uh, he scrambles another guy, thinks he's got him, and he throws a pass that goes another 30 yards. Out of the grasp yeah. of, a, of, a, of a defender to throw that ball again. A 30-yard stripe, great, um, great yards after the catch for Sinkfield. First and 10, 30. 45-yard line. And once again, here comes Blackman as the ball here. Hit hard, but he'll get close to a first down. Yeah, yeah. I, excuse me, that's Sinkfield with the ball. Yeah. Adding insult to injury. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up 30 yards, catching the ball there. You I'll get, get you nine more right run here. for nine, yeah. <laughs> Man in motion from the far side. Going to be uh, offsides. Offside It'll be against Riverdale. That that'll be just enough for a first down. Yeah. With that run, with that run for Sinkfield, ball Tigers are over the 50-yard line now. Um, ball is being marked at the 41-yard line with the penalty. First and ten. Nice. Nice to have any kind of first down. Yeah. Tail swings it out. Call it to 40, up the field to the 30, and knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. And here we go again uh, with the play that's bread and butter for tonight. So yeah. Dixon is the uh, receiver on that play. We've seen him make a couple great defensive plays tonight, and now on the offensive side of the ball again, um, a lot of action around Dixon. You know, he just took two steps off the line, turned around, caught the ball, it just, yeah. uh, just sauntered up the side of the field. Nice run again by the, the Tigers, handoff into the line. Yeah. That's uh, Fannin. Yeah. Fannin gets some strong yards, about six out of that one. Yeah. I tell you, um, you've said it, Jack, but we didn't mention um, for a great offensive line to be a great offensive line, they're the strongest men on the field. Yeah. And clearly tonight we, we show a strength advantage when it comes to the offensive line. Not height-wise. No. Blackman <laughs> spinning around, gets inside the 20. Going to be very close, but they're going to mark it short of the yard to game marker. It's going to be third down and about one. Yep. Staying with the bread and butter, going straight up the middle. Six for Jabari, about four for Blackman. I like these these drives that we can sustain too. Give the defense a little rest. Listen, to, uh, get, get a little breath here. Yeah, yeah. And again, if it's not broken, don't fix it. There's a fake handoff, and it's Teo. How did he do it? <laughs> He's to the 15. Actually, finally brought down late play. again. And again, they yeah uh, they played to the, I guess the echo of the whistle. Yeah, yeah, clearly to say. But we talked about that play what Todd just did. You have Rico coming in, tucked right behind the guard, and Teo simply tucks himself right behind yeah. Rico Dunson. Um, enough for a first yard, first first down yards to gain. Oh, how does he do it? Man, awesome. But, again, eventually maybe we'll get a flag because that throwing tail down clearly after the Wilson has been blown. He's hit hard again. And he's down laying flat before they blow the whistle that time. Yeah. Going to back him up about a yard. First time we've seen negative yards tonight. Maybe second. It's going to be second down and 11. Well, you know, what happens, too, in these cases, you lull them to sleep thinking tail, 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 tail. And then you hit Moss in the corner, or you hit Sigfield across the middle. Yeah. Or Poitras, or, you know, you get so many weapons, as Coach mentioned, Monday night. So here come the Tigers. Tail will throw that corner out. 
Up into the air we go. And we come down with it. Yes, sir. Right there on the one-yard line. Yes, sir. That's, that's Poitras. <laughs> Great catch by Poitras. Makes up for the one that we talked about a second ago. Wow. Uh, comes down, catching the ball at the highest point, landing right in front of the goal line. If any other time, he may have would have stretched. <laughs> but it would have been he, he landed flat on his back. Too. Yeah. He takes a breather for wow, that one, but yeah. a great catch. Great catch. To hold Porter. on to it once he got went back to the ground. Yeah. Great play calling, though. Play action fake. Had him almost wide open. The receiver took uh, no time bringing that down. First and goal, and into the end zone we go. So the Tigers will score again. Yeah. Actually, Fannin lines up with the Wildcat and goes right into it. Yep. Yeah. Fan, we're doing a gr- fans, we're doing a great job. We're taking the volume out this mic. Yeah. <laughs> we, we haven't heard any more downs for a while. What a great job these Tigers are doing. They'll go for the standard point after touchdown now. Yes. The snap, yep. the hold, the kick. It's good. Up and good. So the Tigers put seven more on the board, 31-7 with 5.57 left to go in this first half of play. Let's take 30 seconds back to the station on Eagle Sports. Waltrip Steel's goal is to bring affordable metal pricing to the surrounding areas. Located at 2418 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Lynette, Waltrip Steel sells to the general public as well as commercial and industrial businesses. They offer roofing panels, commercial roofing, and complete building packages. In addition, Waltrip Steel provides all types of galvanized stainless and black metal. Give them a call today at 334-630-1117. 334-630-1117. For all your steel needs, large or small, Waltrip Steel. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to the Troop High School Tiger Football. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Ben Taylor's mom, uh, Miss Joni. Uh, She's an intervention specialist over there at Troop High School. Uh, Miss Nikki Watts just loves her to death. Uh, She's she's having to miss the game tonight. Uh, We we, we hate that, but we know that you're listening and cheering on these Tigers as they continue to do an amazing job. A little pooch kick by Moore. This is just a short, on purpose kick uh, over to the 30, so there's no return on it. Yeah, no return by number 10. Did the smart thing. Um, just looking at that, um, Tavares Garvin looks like was able to um, bring that in without a fumble. Well, the Reds will begin first and 10. We were talking about Ben. Ben's playing so well on this defensive line side. Yeah. And uh, we should appreciate and, you know, His mother, I know she hates to, uh, to be here. She's a. Uh, with her youngest son right now, uh, just uh, working some things with him. So we, our thoughts and prayers go out to them as well. Definitely. We're praying for the family. But tonight the Tigers are doing a great job of that defense. is really stepping up as they're going to do on this next play. As here come the Raiders. There's a snap. The, a completed pass. to number 13 and a good <laughs> open field tackle by Trey Blackman. I'm telling you, when, when Blackman comes, all forward progress stops. You know, I'm telling you. You and I were, were talking about a snake uh, earlier tonight, about you know, we don't fool with snakes. That kind of <laughs> Watching him attack yeah. the legs of that young man, it was like he was just, ah, yeah. just a strike. Yeah, yeah. Just so fast the way he took it down. I mean, great aggressive. Um, Dyer then was upset not only because he didn't get more yards, but because of the hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a great open field tackle. Great. Open field tackle. Hit, wrap, bring him down. Around the left side. They picked up about one. It's going to bring up second down and nine for the Raiders. Ball at the 30-yard line. Quick handoff in the back. Field by, uh, to Ison. Ison's going to get uh, mm, not a whole lot. Brought down by a host of Tigers uh, there, led by Jace Haywood. Actually, just, just back to the line of scrimmage is all he got. Yeah. So third. Down and, and nine, a long nine. <laughs> it is a long nine. <laughs> I gotta be nice. I, I always forget we're it's on easy. the on the World Wide Web as well as just on radio. So yes, yes, um, yes. People can pull up this this game for years and years to come. Thank you for that reminder. I have I can't be lured into um, bodacious activity. Well, watch out! <laughs> I, I, if anyone can lure you, I know Quay's not here right now, but <laughs> they'll take a timeout on the field. We'll take one as well. 60 seconds. Back to the station. Tigers leading right now 31-7 to on the Eagle Sports. You still 
don't need to buy no ugly shirt now. Mm. At Mud Creek Graphics, we have over 23 years of experience bringing you the very best in apparel printing. Our exceptional graphic artists will work with you to create beautiful custom-designed T-shirts for any occasion. But that's not all. Mud Creek is there for you for the printing of banners and signs that will get your message across to everyone. We love supporting our local schools every year, so for your custom T-shirts, signs, banners, embroidery, and more, like Mud Creek Graphics on the Book of Faces or visit us at 211 Greenville Street. Hey, Perry, are you ready for the flu season? Coleman, we're ready. Here in September, we're ready to start giving the flu shots. Um, love to have you just stop in anytime. We have the high dose and the regular quad valent uh, flu shots. And while you're here, ask about the new bivalent COVID vaccine. Come in and find out about that and much more at Holmes Pharmacy, Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, inside of Piggly Wiggly and Sawmill in LaGrange, and in Hamilton. Also, you can find them on the web at www.homespharmacy.com. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back. And on the third down, the Tigers are all over the quarterback. Yeah. Fogler will be dropped for a big loss. So fourth down and 13. Second time we're calling his name on this set of downs. Jacob Bailey was in the action there along with, um, let's say, T.J. Mitchell on that sack for the quarterback. He's going to bring up fourth down and more than 10. It's going to be about 12 yards to go. Um, Tigers are lining up this time to receive a punt. Raiders are lining up to punt, but who knows? They might switch that formation again. <laughs> I'm not giving the Tigers the ball at this close. Ooh. There's a snap. Gets to him. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Blocked. Picked up. School in the end zone. Raise your hands. Touchdown, Tigers. Scoop and score. Kick was blocked. Great block there. We're trying to see who that kid is. Looks like number 41. Who is that? Let's see. Eli Cole. All right. What a great play. Cole was able to scoop that up um, into the touchdown and go in for a score for the Tigers. I tell you, man, hey, he, he's making it easy for me to get the, keep my promise. <laughs> <laughs> so now we line up for the point after touchdown. Yeah, a little, a little trouble on the snap there for the Raiders. Snap. But the Cole, kick is up, and the kick is good. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So 3.39 left to go here in the just the first half. You know, we're doing ready, ready with the first half. 38-7 to 7 is your score right now. You're listening to True High School Tiger Football on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. It's T-O-W-D here at Kilogrange. It's October, and that means Kilogrange is going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we'll be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year, you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at kilogrange.com. Help support your local economy, and God bless America. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. The Tigers leading right now 38-7 to over the Riverdale Raiders. And Riverdale, again, a talented group of young men, and the Tigers just finding ways to, to make special things happen like that scoop and score just a moment ago. All over. Again, the Tigers coming out with an intensity that hasn't been matched tonight thus far. Again, just nice high kick. Take it down there. Fair catch around the 30. So no return. Yeah. Again, that's a strategic move, yeah. very strategic. If you kick the ball out of bounds, um, the ball starts at the 35. But if you kick it high enough to allow your guys the chance to get it, um, for a turnover or for them to just catch it and down it, yeah, they got to start from where it lands. It's, it's, it, when it's just coming, you've got five guys in your face, you're yeah. just going to call a fair catch yeah, yeah, and yeah. take it right there. And a lot of times, those aren't your hand guys. Right, right. Uh, those, are, those are up backs. They really usually meant to block, so you got to be careful yeah. who you put there. Easily, that could cause a mistake. Uh, again, these low-flying birds <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> or, a, or a book could easily cause a mistake. But again, uh, 339 left here in the second quarter. Tigers up 38-7. Big shout-out goes to Coach Dustin Ward from out there at Lone Cane Middle. It's going to be a call-out for um, timeout for the Raiders. They take a timeout. We'll take one as well. 30, uh, 38. Yeah, I got that right. 38-7 to 7 is your score in favor of the Tigers. Let's take 30 seconds back to the station on Eagle Sports. 
Did you know there's a place where you can get good neighbor service and surprisingly great rates on home and auto insurance? Yep, and that place is State Farm. Here's the deal. State Farm agent Matt Orr is your go-to agent in Troop County for the service you deserve at the price you want. So stop shopping around. State Farm agent Matt Orr has you covered. Call 706-882-0046 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back. And this defense, uh, Fred, is just uh, just really getting stronger and stronger. Eisen, who's just uh, usually been picked up you know, over 50 yards by now, it's just not happening yes, for him sir. today. I'm telling you, Jalen Reed getting in there again, a, guy, a kid that has developed. We've seen him since sixth grade yep. uh, make a strong commitment to, to be a football player. Initially, we thought that might have been a wrong decision, but he's beefing up. Not tonight. Up. Yeah, not tonight. It's a tough kid. He, he makes the tackle and jumps out of the building. Did you see how high he got at that kid? <laughs> exactly. Wow. Just a sophomore. There's a snap. Hand off again, and he cuts back inside. That's just not the move, you know. As I'm just watching, that's just not the move. Yeah. Tiger swallowing up the back again for the Raiders. Um, on that tackle, we're trying to see. Tackle led by cornerback coming from the outside. Then number nine, C.J. Sands. Well, also, you know, I'm, I'm watching inside. It's Ben Taylor and kind of taking his man and another one into the hole and then driven both of them yeah. and began the tackle by just kind of grabbing everybody and just sorting out. You know, who I'm going to make the tackle with. Causing the Raider runner to have to go out yep. before he can go up. And yeah. then here comes the linebacking court to close things down. Love it. That's the way it's designed. Yes, sir. Third and 15 for the Raiders. There's the handoff going around the outside. And the Tigers will turn him back inside. He'll try to make a couple of guys miss, but these guys don't. Yeah. Nothing again. Stopped up. Run stopped up by the Tigers. Raiders trying to run again. Number 13 there on that play. Let's see this. Dyer to Noah Vale is going to be uh, fourth down and 15. Let's see. Can we get another scoop and score? Wow. They'll take another timeout as they do. We'll take one too. Tigers, there's continue to be up in this one. Uh, we're down here at late in the first half. Let's take another 30 second break back to the station on Eagle Sports. Welcome back. A uh, little, little uh, problem there, but that's okay. We're still with it. And, again, I feel sorry for this punter. He's got to have a perfect snap come back to him right now. Exactly, exactly. Perfect um, strategic play for Coach Glisson to call a timeout. We still have um, two minutes. May as well stay with a minute 59 left. If we can score again, you know, because, again, Reed Ann gets the ball coming back out. So we need to get the ball, get in good field position, if not on this kick um, after the – after we receive the punt. Not his best kick. Bounces down. Oh, Quay wants it. He's, he's going to walk away from it. <laughs> and he'll let it go down inside the, to the 34. Yeah. We'll keep it here as it's a minute 47 left to go. Smart play. Good kick. Um, wasn't the best looking kick, but it did its job to well, flip the field around. I have a binoculars on the kicker as he got ready to kick. And I've never seen a, a kicker's eyes as big as his were <laughs> as he was hoping to get that ball off so yeah. quick and not get taken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very close again. We've had trouble all night. We've seen trouble all night with the Raiders snapping. Uh, but, again, he was able to corral that one in and get it off. Again, flip the field around, and the Tigers will begin first and ten from the 34-yard line. Minute 47, and you can bet nobody's taking a knee here. No, no. <laughs> Trips to the near side, and wide to the far side. Tail, quick out, complete to Quay Moss. Well, great blocking inside. Frees him up across the 50. Still on his feet. Makes another man miss. Still on his feet. Finally goes down at the 42. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 10, 20, 20, 23 yard pass. But again, we have to give most of that credit to Quay Moss. Uh, Quay Moss, also Malachi Porthers and the other, I'm, I'm sure, not sure who it was, but the blocking he got yeah. by the other two guys on the trip side yeah. was gorgeous. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's normally where you see a foul, but again, great execution by the Tigers. Tail rolls to his left. Looks. He's going to throw it out to Quay. Quay back up the field again. 40, 30, and out of bounds. 
So another first down, a 12-yard pickup. Like Quay Moss running the same play again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to look at this and say, what can we do? <laughs> you got to ask for divine intervention on this one, man. No answer yet the defense has had um, by the Raiders. Not only did we get a first down, but the clock stops, and we're um, right there knocking on the red zone again. My goodness gracious. Tail Todd not rest at all. Great strike um, to Quay Moss, who picks up 12. Back to pass again. Throws it downfield. Complete down at the 10. And it's Moss one more time. Yes, sir. From the 30 down to the 10, that's 20 more yards for Moss. And then they're quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Before the officials even turn around, there's Tigers saying, let us have the ball. <laughs> Chomping at the bit. Blackman goes in motion. Tail up the middle. Great block inside. Touchdown, Tigers. Riverdale Raiders meet Mr. Tao Todd. Steven Davis is all alone out there blocking two linebackers and letting Tao just run back behind him into the end zone. Yeah. I don't know what. I mean, our guys are blocking like madmen. Yeah. But the whole interior line of Riverdale exploded. Yeah, yeah. There was nobody there. I used. I remember the, um, calling with Gary Ward, and he would always say, "Creating a new line of scrimmage will give you pay dirt for your offensive football game." And um, that's what they did. The five yard line became the new line of yeah. scrimmage from the ten. Easy. In goes Chris Moore's kick, and quickly. I mean, I'm talking about less than fifty seconds is that drive. Yeah. And it's forty five to seven. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, just what the doctor ordered, baby. My goodness, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. We might we hey, we might be able to see some festivities in LaGrange College tonight before we come back home. It's homecoming. It <laughs> is homecoming. <laughs> yeah, it's homecoming. Great, great first half of football thus far. Um almost no no mistakes on the Tigers part. Um we we've, we've been been conscious all all along, no fumbles, and we've we been taking a, care of the ball. Penalty, friend. I don't I don't know that there's been a penalty I can remember right now. I can't we've had a no, if one, if any, but I haven't, I, I can't recall one. No turnovers. And now, of course, we knock, knock on paper here because there's no wood. It's all aluminum. Yeah. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't want any. But, uh, my gosh, and it's like we talked about early on, the coach mentioned, you, you want to play your game yeah. and not to the level of teams you're playing. Yeah, but even in warm-ups, our guys even brought their own music. That's true. <laughs> so That's they, true. they were locked in, locked in for this game. But um, still got a whole other half to play. We're not going to get too far too fast. Another nice high kick by Moore, taken and dropped down at the 25-yard line. Yeah. That's, that's you know that's an even better kick. Yeah, I mean it's in, <laughs> down inside the 30 to the 25. The fielder of that kick, you know, he wasn't sure. Am I down? He was, um, you know, cradled. Then he tried to get up and tried to run. But again, great precision by the kicking game of the Tigers tonight. I do not want to go play golf with Chris Moore because <laughs> uh, he him he is placing balls. He's throwing long darts out there. Golly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about the old-fashioned one with the points on the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember the, the yard darts we used to throw? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll catch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Man, great kick. Redan will start first and 10 from his 25-yard line. Oh, see, he's dropping back to double-A, y'all. This is Riverdale, see. He's calling it Redan. Y'all watch him. Th that's what I said? You said Redan. Oh, my bad. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I do. I talk about the Tigers all the time that I do at LaGrange High School broadcast on Monday night. So I just say the Raiders me. from now on. It's the Raiders. Both of them are Raiders. Oh, they're both Raiders. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I work at Callaway, broadcast for Troop, and do a radio show for LaGrange. So yeah. look out. Hey, you know. I got the same stripes. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Second down and about six for. Handoff. The, this is going to be Tyson who is isolated at the 30. You know, Fred, as I think about it, I, I don't know that they've had a run more than two yards in the second quarter. Second quarter, none. I was about to say all of the positive yards that he gained in the first half, he gave it back in the second quarter. Gave, they, they, the defensive line, the whole defensive staff uh, for the Tigers may have a negative yard gain, um, game going so far. Well, that's going to be the end of the first half of play. Your Tigers leading this one 45-7. We're going into halftime. You'll, we normally will let you hear some of the band, 
not tonight because it's senior night, uh, and also they recognize some of the young folks. Uh, I'm not sure how all this plays out because their band is not actually on the field. Usually the band plays where people will be recognized, but uh, maybe they'll do something a little different. But uh, we'll let you know all about it. But mostly we'll let you know what's going on uh, in this game. We'll run back to scoring. We'll also uh, talk about what's going on in our region and with all the other teams in the area. So right now, though, the Tigers, as we mentioned, leading this one by a score of 46, to 45 to 7. You're listening to Triple School Tiger Football right here on Eagle Sports. Hey, I'm Jody Ward, and I'm excited and thankful about joining the Medicine Cabinet family. I bring over 30 years of local community pharmacy experience to the Medicine Cabinet. It is a pleasure and privilege for me to serve our community in the prettiest pharmacy in Troop County. You will find our excellent staff willing and ready to serve all of your health care needs. Come and see us for all of your vaccines, and we will soon be starting our comprehensive therapy management services program. Come visit us at the beautiful Lace Cross Inn location. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House, a southern tradition since 1945, where we only serve U.S. farm-raised catfish. And now you can order online on Facebook or just type Rogers Barbecue LaGrange on your Google search engine and order right there. Then pick it up and enjoy it for the office, your family, or just you. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Or just search on Google Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House in LaGrange. Hi, friends. It's T-O-W-D here at Key LaGrange. It's October, and that means Key LaGrange is going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we will be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit, Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at keylagrange.com. Help support your local economy, and God bless America. Life costs money, sometimes lots. First Franklin Financial has loans for living. Our Hogansville and LaGrange branches offer personal loans with payment plans to fit any budget. Stop by and meet the friendly Franklin folk at the location near you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. All loan terms and applicable APRs depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested and may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. And right now it's been all the Troop High School Tigers as uh, a whole lot of folks are going to be recognized tonight here at halftime. Uh, as uh, both the offensive players, uh, the football players, cheerleaders, typically will uh, at Keller State will do this before the ball game, not yeah. at halftime. But uh, that seems not to be the way they do it here. But that's okay. Uh, everybody has their own. They do those things their own way. That's uh, they're right, and we have no problem with it. Uh, let's talk about this uh, first half of play. Uh, you know, we uh, Fred and I were talking at halftime. Uh, excuse me, at pregame that we really wanted to make sure we didn't put. Uh, the cart before the horse. We wanted to make sure we came out, played our ball game, and that's what these Tigers did. They started off. Uh, they won the toss and elected to uh, put the offense on the field first, and with good reason. Uh, they, they head down the field. Uh, Birdsong catches a, a, a great pass. We have uh, Trey Blackman actually takes it uh, down to, to the twenty-yard line on a forty-yard run, and then Teo Todd uh, puts it in and also gets a two-point conversion. So we're up seven to nothing. Excuse me, eight to nothing. Uh, with a, only a minute 24 off the clock. So a tremendous job starting things off by the offense. Riverdale, though, hey, give them credit. Yeah. They came right back and answered. Uh, Ison, their big uh, running back, has a, has a touchdown run, a big pass play, uh, about what, about 30-yard pass play for you? Yeah, yes, got him down there. Um, pass was to number eight. Um, they kept going to him. Jaden Howard yep. was able to bring one in. Howard, uh, surprised they haven't gone back to some of that because that was effective for him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, – it was 8 7 with, with a 9 21 left to go. It looked like uh, you know, this may be a little bit of a heavyweight fight going back and forth, back and forth. Tigers, they get the, the ball, and um, it's uh, Sinkfield just doing an amazing job. A great catch down to the 46. Um, we, we take a play uh, where Quay Moss is lined up as, at, uh, as a wide out, uh, let's say on the right. Uh, tail backs up, throws it to him, got good blocking downfield, picks up 30. Backs up, does the play on the other side of Quay. Yeah. Uh, ran it three times in a row, two times with Quay. One time was the Sinkfield. Sinkfield picked up nine. Okay, yeah. well, bless his heart. He, yeah. he was, he was uh, <laughs> not able to pick up the big yard. But uh, they just take that play all the way down the field. Ends up with Teo put it in uh, with just a quick uh, quick into the end zone. 
two-point conversion, and the Tigers are up 16-7 to with 6.28 left to go there in the first quarter. Riverdale, hey, we thought that maybe this is their chance to answer back, keep themselves in this contest, but that defense, oh, boy, Man. did they just rise up. Yeah, yeah. Um, the defense came out, and, um, again, we talked about it. It started out, we thought we were going to be into a better game than we've seen as far as going back and forth with scoring. But, again, the defense found its nit start rushing. We were talking about hurries on the quarterback, hurries on the quarterback. And so after that, it seems like the Riverdale coaches abandoned trying to throw the yeah. ball, um, trying to run the ball, going behind the guards, pulling um, the guards and getting behind them. But to no avail, um, the Tigers were able to stop that up. And in the second quarter now, talking about the defense the second quarter i think they even um overcame any yards that they gave up on offense and were able to uh, possibly get a negative yards net gain for the second quarter it was <laughs> really really amazing really really pleased with the what the tigers did on defense uh that, that Rudell has to punt the ball so here come the tigers again now uh as, as they uh, get the ball again uh from the 46 after a nice return and they score one more time 24-7. Uh, Birdsong picks up the two-point conversion there by catching a little jump pass. Yeah, in the end yeah, zone. yeah. It's Fannin that scores the touchdown. Uh, so there with 437, it's 24-7. Uh, Riverdale gets the ball again, drives down, nothing doing, has to punt the ball, as is, has been the tail. And that, uh, that's when we kind of got into the second quarter. We'll tell you about the second quarter when we come back. Let's take about a, a four-spot break. Back to the station right here on Eagle Sports. If you need medical treatment at the highest level and want care that's personal, turn to Wellstar. We offer the latest procedures at Georgia's first certified comprehensive cardiac center, along with an innovative approach to fighting cancer, where specialists collaborate to accelerate diagnosis and treatment. We're also home to a top-level stroke program that performs life-saving operations every day. At Wellstar, we care for the whole you. Learn more at wellstar.org. Waltrip Steel's goal is to bring affordable metal pricing to the surrounding areas. Located at 2418 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Lynette, Waltrip Steel sells to the general public as well as commercial and industrial businesses. They offer roofing panels, commercial roofing, and complete building packages. In addition, Waltrip Steel provides all types of galvanized stainless and black metal. Give them a call today at 334-630-1117. 334-630-1117. For all your steel needs, Large or small, wall drop steel. You still don't need to buy no ugly shirt now. Mm-hmm. At Mud Creek Graphics, we have over 23 years of experience bringing you the very best in apparel printing. Our exceptional graphic artists will work with you to create beautiful custom designed t shirts for any occasion. But that's not all. Mud Creek is there for you for the printing of banners and signs that will get your message across to everyone. We love supporting our local schools every year, so for your custom t shirts, signs, banners, embroidery, and more, like Mud Creek Graphics on the Book of Faces or visit us at 211 Greenville Street. Hey, Perry. I hear the CDC has approved the new coronavirus booster, and you've got it. Yes, Coleman, we received the Pfizer and Moderna bivalent booster. It's available. Um, it's available for your prime, either after your primary series or either your third or fourth booster two months after your last vaccine. So come by and see us. Come in and ask the pharmacist here at Holmes Pharmacy any questions, and you can find them on Commerce Avenue inside the Piggly Wiggly and in Hamilton. HomesPharmacy.com. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. Jack Norman, Fred Stanley, live here from Riverdale, Georgia, Southern Crescent Stadium. And the Tigers leading right now 45-7 to at halftime. Uh, we're going to continue talking about the scoring in just a second, but we got some inside sources up here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fred, Fred has... Fred's uncle, of all places, Fred's uncle's up here running the clock. How about that? How about that inside baseball? And uh, Fred, what was he telling you a second ago? He was telling us that um, uh, to run the clock because of the extensive lead that we have with um, Troop is left up to the Riverdale coach whether or not they'll run the clock during the third quarter. But there's no no question about the fourth Fourth quarter. quarter, So the Riverdale coach has to make the decision whether to have a running clock for the third and fourth quarter Versus just the fourth quarter. Yep, uh, that's that's t- that's the typical way it goes. But it's nice to hear that official, uh, official official. Yeah, uh, I, think it's I so thought that- he was going to take my headset. <laughs> Well, we could have interviewed him at halftime. Of course, he probably would have gotten in trouble being official on the radio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, it is uh, nice to know the Tigers will continue to be able to uh, get, get. Probably we'll see the starters come out uh, for a series. 
and then we'll probably see Sinkfield go over and take over the offense and uh, I'll be interested to see how things go. We talked about earlier about scoring for the Tigers all season long, and there's been a, a, a even scoring uh, more in the first half, of course, but as the, the game goes on, we still score average of a touchdown per quarter in the third and in the fourth. So yeah. our younger guys are still putting points on the board. They that That's building a program. Yeah. You know, we see that building a program, not just having a team. Well, and we, we were talking about, you know, you get a chance to broadcast Callaway. That's been one of their strengths over the years is to have a team that's up by a substantial amount at halftime, and these younger guys get meaningful reps yeah. on the field. Not recreation reps. Not meaningful. Recreation, yeah. yeah, meaningful reps. Not just to say that you play, but to yeah. actually go in and compete, score. And um, 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 if not score just on offense, score on defense, get a pick, get a fumble, and um, take it to the house. The the starting offense of the other team from scoring. Yeah. Because it's usually our seconds versus their first. Yeah, and and, and a great thing that we heard um, during the Monday night show as well. I keep going back to that. Fans, you got to come and listen on Monday night. Start at 7, 6.30, 7 and 7.30, 8 o'clock. See all the shows, all the teams. But it was mentioned that these guys come in, and they're the practice team. Yep for the week they run the plays of the opposing team and so it's great for them to get in live action and put the um put on the other team what they've been getting all week and, and a little inside knowledge of what they're actually going to do <laughs> yeah uh, we're, we're talking about the first quarter uh, all the scoring that took place uh the tigers were up um by a score of 24 to 7 as we went into the second quarter um the riverdale ended up having to punt the ball again uh, Tigers got the ball with at 11-11 uh, from the 15. Now, this was the, the deepest uh, we'd been in our, in our own territory. Yeah. Uh, and then down the field we go. Uh, it ends up in a wildcat by Javari Fannin. Lines up at the quarterback position. Just takes it straight up the field. Goes in the, in the end zone. 31-7 is your score. Yeah. Uh, then we uh, Riverdale gets the, the ball. They're going to have to punt again. And the Tigers, they swarm in this. Been some low snaps and yeah. some bad snaps. Yeah. Uh, the Tiger offense, uh, the Tiger coaching staff sees this, and they put a stunt on. They're in the backfield. They're able to uh, block it. Yeah. And then uh, Elijah Cole uh, comes in there and is able to block it, scoop, score, put that thing yeah. into the end zone. I think he had some help, if I'm not mistaken, by David Hidalgo. But, again, um, with those two, it ended up getting a scoop and score, and we went in for a touchdown. So 38-7. to seven was our score there. Uh, Riverdale gets the ball right back, has to punt one more time. A, a, a quick punt. My Bless the young man's heart. Yeah. As soon as he got that, he's like, just, as quick as he can get it, <laughs> yeah. just swung the leg. Uh, Tigers get the ball late in the uh, second quarter. Uh, they don't take the foot off the gas, though. No, no. Right down the field they go uh, with, again, it's, it's Moss with the, with the, the passing game. The, 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 uh, the quick out to him down the field twice, and then he picks up a, a, probably one of the best receptions of the contest down about the 10. Yeah. I think actually he and Sinkfield have both had that same little pass, not right in the middle of the field, just along the hash marks, catches it down there inside the 10, stands right up, tosses the ball to the official, and then uh, Teo Todd takes it into the end zone. 45-7 after the Chris Moore point after touchdown is where we are. And, I, you know, I, I'd love to sit here, and, and I'm sure the, you know, if I was a coach, I could pick it apart. And, uh, and, and you know, they will in film. They'll say, you know, you missed the block here, you missed this here. But could these guys really be playing much better than this? Yeah, they gave they gave Coach um, Glisten tonight everything he asked for. Yeah. Everything he asked for. We talked about we didn't see any mistakes. We didn't even see any penalties on us. Um, these kids are coming in playing hard as possible. Um, I don't know what they, they, they attempted to do during the weekend practice, but they've shown um, flawless football tonight in the first and second quarter. Uh, again, this ball game will uh, kind of pull them again. Uh, probably they're already at number four in the state right yeah. now in, in, in Quad A. Probably this will bump them up. Uh, it, it getting closer, a few more folks voting for them. Uh, of course, now that's not really what anybody wants. Right. What, what the most important thing is one, getting to the playoffs. Number two, winning this region. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then see how far we can go in that second season. Uh, but right now, uh, the, the Tigers look as strong. Even the, the year where we went to the semis, yeah, uh, this team actually looks a little stronger than that, more a weapons. little deeper than that, more weapons. And what's exciting, they're mostly juniors. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see them again. <laughs> we, will see them we will see them again. again. Yes. Let's go ahead and take another break. We've got lots more to talk about. We're at halftime here at uh, Riverdale, Georgia, as the Tigers lead this one by a score of 45-7 to 7 on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. It's T.O.W.D. here at Kilogrange. It's October, and that means Kilogrange is going pink 
for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we will be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at killagrange.com. Help support your local economy and God bless America. Explain to me again why we're sleeping on the ground. Because we're thramping. Thrift camping, it's saving us money and getting us closer to nature. But we don't need to thramp. I just combined our home and auto insurance with our state farm agent, so we have a rate that fits our budget. Oh, right. Do you think our agent can bring us an air mattress? For surprisingly great rates that fit any budget, call state farm agent Matt Orr in LaGrange today. Individual premiums and budgets will vary by customer. All applicants subject to state farm underwriting requirements. Hello, I'm Steve Butts, pharmacist at the Medicine Cabinet on Moody Bridge Road. At the Medicine Cabinet, we hope to make you feel right at home in our stores. Our mission is and always has been to provide service that is exceedingly abundantly above anything a customer could ask. We serve you from three locations in LaGrange on Moody Bridge Road, Vernon Street, and our newest location at Lee's Crossing. At the Medicine Cabinet, we proudly offer a drive through window, delivery service, and immunizations. We're grateful for your business and look forward to continuing our service to you for years to come. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House, a southern tradition since 1945, where we only serve U.S. farm-raised catfish. And now you can order online on Facebook or just type Rogers Barbecue LaGrange on your Google Google search engine and order right there. Then pick it up and enjoy it for the office, your family, or just you. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Or just search on Google Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House in LaGrange. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. Tigers leading right now here at halftime, 45 to 7, as we're receiving the uh, senior night festivities here at uh, Riverdale. Uh, now, Fred, I'm starting to feel a little old because uh, I've been making a joke for two weeks now about this Riverdale game coming in because you know, Lagrange played them last week and uh, the Tigers having a night. And I've said to several people, "Yeah, whenever Archie and Jughead and Betty and Veronica on the sideline comes, you know, Riverdale is going to have a good team." Uh-huh. And people just look at me like I'm stupid. Now, do, do you know what I'm meaning when I say Archie and Jughead, Betty and Veronica, from Riverdale coming to play? Um, Archie Come on, help me. Help me. Uh, help me. And I Moose. Can, and, and I can't bring it in with Riverdale. Help me with the Riverdale. All right. So the, the old comic with the red-headed guy, Archie, right, right, right. and Jughead and, and Betty and Veronica, their hometown was Riverdale. Didn't know. I, I, I was I delivered the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. And, and well, I read comic books. <laughs> I saw them every day. They were in the comic Oh, they were in the Yeah, <laughs> but still didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but the, the the old TV show, The Archies, yeah. and Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Witherspoon, okay. uh, and all that, yeah, that was um, that was in Riverdale. In fact, uh, the CW put out a TV show called uh-huh. Riverdale yeah. uh, that was about Archie and Betty and Veronica wow. and Jughead. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I thought, you know, I thought to my kids at school because that show would, would know what I was talking about. It's, it's not old, Jack. You're just well versed. Oh, gosh. You're just well versed. Again, I tell you, you bring the best out of us all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if Riverdale's the best ever saw, but uh, tonight is not bless their hearts. Uh, yeah. They get this this team. Uh, they came out out strong. I was, you know, answered the Tigers right out of the gun. Yeah. Uh, thought that we really might have a back and forth game going here, but. Uh, Man, by the time that third drive of the Tigers and then the fourth drive of the Tigers and the fifth drive of the Tigers yeah. and the scoop and score, it really, it's its a different ball game than what we're expecting now. What we've seen tonight now, I know we come in anticipating the Teo Todd show, but it's been, um, you know, Quay, uh, Quay Moss and the Sinkfield show tonight. They've been, oh, they've been monstrous um, going from east to west. I know we want to line up, go north and south to get touchdowns, but – Getting out there going 15 yards a pop, 12 yards a pop, and then coming running and our offensive line giving us great strength up the middle of the football field with running from your Fannins and your Blackers. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been lights out for the Tigers tonight. Well, Blackman, let's, let's talk about him. He's come on so strong tonight yeah. for our running game. Also, on the defensive side. Exactly. is hitting folks like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it, 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 um, I'm not mentioning just because we talked about his, his mom a little bit ago, but Ben Taylor's having one of the best games that I've seen him play in a while from his interior lineman position because he is really stuffing things. They've tried to run inside. 
they're not running inside at all. The yeah. only place they've had any success is by going wide, 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 and bringing you know, the whole student body to the right or left <laughs> and trying yeah. to pick up some. Yeah, I, we, I talked to Blackman um, earlier in the week, and um, he's actually – had some looks for and some calls from some schools to look at him at the second level as well wow. on the weekend. And my advice to him was, you know, make him come see you. Yeah. Give him something to see. And he's played lights out tonight. As you said, great run, great runs on offense as well as stopping the run for losses on defense. Yeah. Um, and going again too, Jack, we were talking about you. You mentioned how the Tigers were able to get started with that third drive. But every every time we've touched the ball tonight, we put it in the end zone. And then the great thing that you mentioned, every time we've had the ball, we put it in the end zone. And sometimes when we didn't have, have the ball, ball. <laughs> exactly. with the block kick, we put it in the end zone. We're getting a shout-out from uh, my regular partner, Greg Hicks. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, up in Asheville, North Carolina, listening say? to us on the World Wide Web up there. Hey, Greg, thank you for this opportunity, man, to, to call this game with Sensei, as I call Jack. But, again, <laughs> uh, it's, it's great to be out here tonight. Yeah, Greg calls me a few things, but we can't say those on the radio. Uh, <laughs> let's take another break. We've got lots more to come as we're getting ready for the second half of play right here on Eagle Sports. Life costs money, sometimes lots. First Franklin Financial has loans for living. Our Hogansville and LaGrange branches offer personal loans with payment plans to fit any budget. Stop by and meet the friendly Franklin folk at the location near you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. All loan terms and applicable APRs depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested and may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, we believe teamwork makes all the difference in your health. We believe that skilled people can achieve higher standards and exceptional results. We believe in a game plan that's focused on patient safety and quality care. At Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center in LaGrange, we believe in life well lived. To learn more about award-winning health care, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. Waltrip Steel's goal is to bring affordable metal pricing to the surrounding areas. Located at 2418 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Lynette, Waltrip Steel sells to the general public as well as commercial and industrial businesses. They offer roofing panels, commercial roofing, and complete building packages. In addition, Waltrip Steel provides all types of galvanized stainless and black metal. Give them a call today at 334-630-1117. 334-630-1117. For all your steel needs, large or small, Waldrop Steel. You still don't need to buy no ugly shirt now. Mm-hmm. At Mud Creek Graphics, we have over 23 years of experience bringing you the very best in apparel printing. Our exceptional graphic artists will work with you to create beautiful custom-designed T-shirts for any occasion. But that's not all. Mud Creek is there for you for the printing of banners and signs that will get your message across to everyone. We love supporting our local schools every year, so for your custom T-shirts, signs, banners, embroidery, and more, like Mud Creek Graphics on the Book of Faces, or visit us at 211 Greenville Street. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to True High School Tiger Football. Jack Morton, Fred Stanley, live here from Riverdale, Georgia, here in Clayton County, just up the road about an hour and 20, 25 minutes, depending on how traffic goes on 85, and you know what an adventure that can be. Uh, we're up here with the True High School Tigers in a big region matchup tonight, and they are showing out 45-7 to 7 here as we get ready to go into the second half of play. Uh, a couple more scores for you. Uh, the, the LaGrange High School Grangers uh, taking care of business against North Clayton tonight. Uh, right now, that game is, um, let's see, just had it, and I lost it. There it is. There's Tommy. Uh, 48 to nothing 48. Is, wow. the, is the score right there at halftime. Uh, hopefully, Tommy's going to send me the king and queen of that. Uh, I'd love to know who wins. Know a lot of those kids and those families. Some wonderful, wonderful folks involved in that. Uh, in our region, let's take a look at some other scores. Uh, right now, Stars Mill over Fayette County, uh, 19 to zero. Wow. Um, of course, we mentioned this game as the uh, the the, uh, the Tigers are winning, 45 to seven, uh, 48 to nothing, North Clay. But here's the the one that got me. Uh, going into halftime, Trinity Christian trailing Whitewater, 17-7. Wow. Tr- Trinity Christian, who right now is number two, or I guess tied for number first in the region because they don't have a loss in the region, neither do the Tigers. Uh, Whitewater, who does have a loss in the region because of the Troop High School Tigers, uh, is now leading them by a score of 17 7. So, interesting. Yeah. A lot can happen by the yeah. end of this night. Yeah, you got to play the game. We've seen a 3 0 game with Trinity 
um, Christian earlier in the year. I'm, again, we just said it. The next three games for Troop are going to be big games, so we have to play them all tight. There goes more, and he just kind of kicks into that corner again. He was trying to bound a return, but that was a mistake. <laughs> Bird song. <laughs> Should have had the ball at the 30. Instead, they'll have the ball back at the 25 as he tried to reverse field and say, I'm going to get some out of this. Yeah, no, yeah. no, you, you're not. You baby. get nothing. Just, baby, baby, baby. No, don't do that. Quay Bird song. Quay Bird song um, fielding that kick. It seems like um, the um, Raiders were going to try to get some positive yardage out of this instead of just downing the ball. But trying to run it, and Quay Birdsong was all over him. He's going to push the Raiders back to the 22-yard line where they'll begin first and 10. We just got it, too, um, from my uncle. Um, again, that we are going to have a running clock for the third quarter. Ooh. Third quarter and fourth quarter running clock. Grab it down the road, folks. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> back is a completed <laughs> pass by – oh, my God. Come on. I, that one hurt me from up here. Completed pass <laughs> – and here comes Trey Blackman, who just eats him alive yeah. and makes the catch. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, somebody needs to help that kid. Um, um, number 13 on the reception, that Darian Dyer, he's been helped out um, just just total disgust. He's okay. He's not hurt, but he no, is it's, disgusted. It's, 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 a great, it's a great catch. Yeah. But he turned around, and there's, there's Trey right in his face. I mean, he comes out of nowhere. It's Strike. Like, it's like a, it's like a, a pit bulldog. Uh, you think you're going to go steal an apple or some plums, and next thing you know, you're running for your life. <laughs> <That's an implode. laughs> My bad for, you know, stealing plums. <laughs> yes, don't steal plums. Nice little run to the 30. But- I- Icing on the inside there. They're trying a new, a new wrinkle. Picks up about four on the play. It's going to bring up third down and about three for the Raiders. Looking down, still got, uh, still got the, the main folks we're used to down the field. Yeah, clearing up my roster here, making sure I get, get put the glasses on so I can see. I'm sure we're going to see some new fresh jerseys coming out for the Tigers a little later. Birdsong will line up to the left side. Now he'll switch back around. To actually go as an interior lineman this time, looking for them, Ison maybe to come up the middle again. This time they're going to pop to the outside. Ison tries to get out there and nothing doing. To no avail. Big hit on the play there. Not a big hit, but a big stop. We call his name again, Jalen Reed. Reed's having a great ball game. A great one on one. him up. Exactly. Great one on one battle there with Ison. Seems like to have an advantage, but um, Reed was able to position his body enough to get Ison out of bounds for no first down. Nope. So fourth and one, what do you do? I mean, you, you're already down by you know, 45-7. You go ahead and punt it or just say, like, can't, we got to get a yard. Yeah, yeah. This is pride check. <laughs> this is a gut check right here. You got one yard to get, but, again, you put yourself in a dangerous place. Well, they're, they're lining up to go for it. So, wait, Tigers don't need to drop, jump off sides now. And in fact, uh, Riverdale's going to think about it. They're going to take a timeout. That's going to be the first thing I'm telling my kids. Watch the ball. Yeah. Watch the ball. Yeah. Sick of, let's take a 60-second break back to the station. 45-7 is our score. We're in the second half of play on Eagle Sports. Hey, Perry, are you ready for the flu season? Coleman, we're ready. Here in September, we're ready to start giving the flu shots. Um, love to have you just stop in anytime. We have the high dose and the regular quad valent uh, flu shots. And while you're here, ask about the new bivalent COVID vaccine. Come in and find out about that and much more at Holmes Pharmacy, Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, inside of Piggly Wiggly and Sawmill in LaGrange, and in Hamilton. Also, you can find them on the web at www.homespharmacy.com. Hi, friends. It's T-O-W-D here at Kiel LaGrange. It's October, and that means Kiel LaGrange is going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we'll be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit, Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year, you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at kiellagrange.com. Help support your local economy, and God bless America. Now let's get back to the action. Truth High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back. Something we haven't heard much in this contest. Yeah. First down Raiders as uh, they were able to pick up a first down around the 50-yard line. Trips to the right side. Man in motion. Yeah. Back. He's actually, doesn't even get a chance to hand the ball off as he is hit as the snap goes back there. 
I think we beat the ball to the backfield. <laughs> beat the ball again. You got to give credit to this kid. This guy, um, Daria Dyer, picked up the first down, went in motion, then did a nice little dance there. They gave him the snap. But Darian Dyer, meet Quay Birdso. <laughs> I mean, Quay, like, took a step over the line of scrimmage. Yeah. And yeah. the next step was in the backfield. Hit him, missed him, and, and regained uh. composure and took him down for a five-yard loss. There's going to be second. Uh, make it four-yard loss. Second and 14 for the Raiders. And as we mentioned, uh, Fred, uh, from directly from his uh, uncle's mouth to his ears, uh, <laughs> it's a running clock in the whole second half. Yeah. So this is going to move quick, folks. Yeah. Man in motion. There's a snap across the middle, thrown, and Blackman there to uh, make sure that he's down. The guy fell. Yeah. He caught it, but uh, only picked up, mm, what, about about five yards, yard, six yards? Picked up six yards. When he caught it, he made sure that he got down quick. Yeah. Like, I got it, boom. I know we are in nice Clayton County Public Schools, Jonesboro, Georgia field, uh, you know, south, southern Crescent field. But that's quite Trey Blackman's backyard. Yeah, it, it is. And that, look, and that little boy was looking for a hole in that field to jump into yeah. so that the, the Trey did not hit him upside the head. Pass to the left side, only picked up six. Fake handoff. Quarterback going to run the field in his own zone. So Fogler will get uh, about, we'll call it a 43. Yeah, that was actually a direct snap. They went wildcat to Ison. Okay, excuse me. And we have an injured Tiger on the field. Yeah. Seems like they may have There's ran Noah over Dixon left. there. Yeah. All right, so they're going to check on him. All they do, we're going to take uh, three spots, folks, three spots back to the station as we check on this young man right here on Eagle Sports. This show's pretty rocking, huh? Yeah, I'm glad my State Farm agent helped me go. Huh? My State Farm agent. They helped me with options to personalize my auto insurance to get the great rates that fit my budget so I don't have to give up the things I love. Wow. Hey, so do you think I could uh, get your State Farm agent's number for surprisingly great rates that fit any budget? Call State Farm agent Matt Orr in LaGrange today. Individual premiums and budgets will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. WLAGAM LaGrange and W245AW LaGrange. Troop High School Football is brought to you by First Franklin Financial. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Ison, the ball carried, and uh, tell you, uh, give, him, give him some credit. He does not want to go down easily in this contest. Yeah. Uh, a big run on the left side. It'll be a first down. Get ready. You'll hear it. There it is. <laughs> right there in the background. Second time we've heard that tonight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's maybe three. Maybe, maybe. maybe three first downs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ball's down. It's a 31. Yeah. A few younger Tigers getting in there now. We'll see how this uh, pans out. Interesting set. Raiders are coming out with a little trickery. Quarterback turns, hands it off, ball off to his tailback. Still on his feet. And he'll go out of bounds over here near the 30. But as the the uh, clock, the, the uh, announcer here was telling us, the clock still stops because uh, still still rolls. Excuse me. doesn't stop unless you have uh, injury, uh, timeout, score, or penalties. Penalties, yep. yeah. He's, he's figured he's he'll join the radio squad. Well, he said it's for all the folks listening at home. Yeah. So. <laughs> we talked to him. He talks to us, I guess. To Noah Bell, um, first down for about three yards. Okay, looks like the Tigers will plan to get out of here pretty quick because they want the bus drivers to get to their buses. Wow. <laughs> the quarterback was going to hand the ball off to somebody, spun around. Throws it down towards the end zone. Falls incomplete. If we uh, think had a little bit more wherewithal, might have picked that off. Yeah, yeah. Ball intended for number eight there, Jaden Howard to Noah Vale. First time we've called this day second half. He was pretty much their workhorse in the first quarter. But um, it, interesting to watch. The quarterback 
turned like he was going to hand the ball off, and then did a full 360-degree turn around and then threw it down the field. Yeah, yeah. A lot of wasted motion, a lot of wasted effort. That I think he lost his target, too, by having to do that full spin around. They come out the huddle with a lot of unnecessary movement. They have five people lined up straight in a line um, and then run up to the field as if it's what they call that sugar huddle. Yep. Well, right now, it's, it's a, you know, there's four guys just standing around back there, like they're in line to, to pick up tickets to the movie. <laughs> it's going to be ice in the ball carrier again. He'll get uh, to the, what about the 26 yard line. Ice and picks up two is going to be fourth down at about five. Long four, I'll call it five. But uh, hopefully, right now, the Tiger defense can bend and not break. Slow drive here is almost taking up the whole third quarter. Yeah. But, again, we are, we do have a running clock. But, um, hey, that's to our favor. Well, that's going to look really good on their stat sheet, though, that they had a 12-minute drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to stall. To see 12-minute drive to stall at the 25-yard line. Let me be prophetic and not pathetic. <laughs> oh, we got the got a timeout call on the field. Called out by Riverdale. They'll take a timeout. We'll take one as well. Guys back to the station. Going to go 60 seconds, two spots on this uh, break. Tigers leading 45-7 to on Eagle Sports. Hey, I'm Jody Ward, and I'm excited and thankful about joining the Medicine Cabinet family. I bring over 30 years of local community pharmacy experience to the Medicine Cabinet. It is a pleasure and privilege for me to serve our community in the prettiest pharmacy in Troop County. You will find our excellent staff willing and ready to serve all of your health care needs. Come and see us for all of your vaccines, and we will soon be starting our comprehensive therapy management services program. Come visit us at the beautiful Lee's Cross Inn location. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House, a southern tradition since 1945, where we only serve U.S. farm-raised catfish. And now you can order online on Facebook or just type Rogers Barbecue LaGrange on your Google search engine and order right there. Then pick it up and enjoy it for the office, your family, or just you. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Or just search on Google Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House in LaGrange. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. And as you hear from our notable announcer here, another first down for the Raiders. First little wrinkle right there, quarterback keeper. Yep. Fogler running. He will run it. Yeah, we've seen that before. Um, not tonight, but we've seen it in prior games. Fugger will hand the ball off to his tailback. Ison, who stops, cuts back, and not a whole lot there. Yeah. Try to, had to run for his life then. It looks like 46 for us was right there on his tail, forced him to cut back in. Along with Fannin and Dixon back there as well. Yeah. You see Dixon back in the game. Skyler, Skyland Strong. That's a cool name. It is. The, it is. I had a game last night with a middle school. Um, and one, that was a strong on the middle school team. So it's the first, second time I've seen that in two days. I'm trying to remember. There's a kid that uh, played, uh, I think, in Atlanta a, a couple of years ago. I think his name was uh, something Steel. Oh, i, I got to remember this. <laughs> Greg, if you're listening, text me who that, what that kid's <laughs> name was. Oh, I think it was Sage Steel. Wow. Sage, I mean, it's like a, like a secret agent, you know. I'm Sage. Sage Steel. <laughs> Isis tries to steal a few more yards of the field. As, uh, again, hey, Credit this Riverdale team. They're not giving up. They're not. They're I, not. I, I love that about these young men. They continue to fight down the field. Yeah. This may be their best uh, best series so far. After a short loss on the second down, Ison, uh, well, well, short loss on the first down, Ison on the second down came around the left side, running to the short side of the field, picked up about four, maybe five for the Raiders. Now it's going to be second down, third down, and six. 41 seconds left in the third quarter. 45-7, Tigers lead. Fogler calls for the snap. Fakes the handoff. Hit as he throws the ball, but complete in the end zone for a touchdown. Ison, nobody on him. Yeah. Little wheel play out there. Ison, um, after the, the fake on the inside, Ison goes around the right side and catches the pass, um, landing in the end zone. So Fogger able to put the ball in the end zone. Fogler. 
Sometimes it's, uh, the best thing is not to say anything. Yep. <laughs> Just kind of listen to all that. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of let, let them have their moment. Yeah. Uh, they haven't had one in a while. Whole third quarter took that drive. <laughs> 24, 24 seconds, left. seconds left for that touchdown. That's an <laughs> over 11 minute drive. The results of the touchdown. 45 14 is your score. We're going to keep it here. And we'll take a break when we get to the uh, quarter mark in just a second. We'll get you some information about uh, scores around our area in just a moment, too, and let you know what's going on. We'll, we'll check over into Double uh, A and uh, the Kelly Cavaliers region as well. Let you know what's happening in that area, too. Yeah, sorry about that. I got, got a little lost looking in the band, you know. Uh, being this close, uh, they caught my attention just slightly. <laughs> well, it, it, they're, they're finally have, you know, playing a little bit here. Yeah, it seems like that's the best thing going for Riverdale tonight is the band. They, they haven't done too much, but a back deep for the Tigers. Um, looks like Sinkfield. Uh, Want to say Moss, but um, it's typically onside kick. And the Tigers are on it, and they'll have the ball at the 49-yard line. Yeah, great fielding on that onside um, kick attempt by number 23, Caden Jackson Fears. Okay, he feared nothing on that one. <laughs> nothing. He <laughs> stood right there yeah, yep. and caught that ball like a, like a strong man. Tigers will begin first and 10, ball at the 49, almost at the 50. That's the end of the third quarter of play. 45-14 is your score. Let's take a, uh, a guys. Let's run three spots back to the station. Three spots back to the station as we're at the end of the third quarter play right here on Eagle Sports. Life costs money, sometimes lots. First Franklin Financial has loans for living. Our Hogansville and Lagrange branches offer personal loans with payment plans to fit any budget. Stop by and meet the friendly Franklin folk at the location near you. Visit oneffc.com to learn more. All loan terms and applicable APRs depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested and may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. If you need medical treatment at the highest level and want care that's personal, turn to Wellstar. We offer the latest procedures at Georgia's first certified comprehensive cardiac center, along with an innovative approach to fighting cancer, where specialists collaborate to accelerate diagnosis and treatment. We're also home to a top-level stroke program that performs life-saving operations every day. At Wellstar, we care for the whole you. Learn more at wellstar.org. Waltrip Steel's goal is to bring affordable metal pricing to the surrounding areas. Located at 2418 Veterans Memorial Parkway in Lynette, Waltrip Steel sells to the general public as well as commercial and industrial businesses. They offer roofing panels, commercial roofing, and complete building packages. In addition, Waltrip Steel provides all types of galvanized stainless and black metal. Give them a call today at 334-630-1117. 334-630-1117. For all your steel needs, Large or small, Waldrop Steel. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to Troop High School Tiger Football. Sinkfield comes in at uh, quarterback right now. And he'll stand there on a third down play. Running himself down the side of the field. He's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! I tell you, man, that read option play then by Sinkfield food everybody everybody, everybody <laughs> took the ball everybody was food everyone was food but the split in out on the right side <laughs> everyone wow. was food except the split in he directed a block from 20 yards away told his, his wide receiver to block that guy and i'm going to score scoring for 40 plus yards on that play great great quarterback pool read option by sinkfield I don't know, and once he cut the jet zone there was nobody gonna catch him <laughs> no one no one that was funny. Golly. It is through there. More perfect on the night. Yeah, yeah. So 52 14. It's your score. <laughs> Clock is just been running. <laughs> just like always, um, all night tonight, um, efficiency and effectiveness for the Tiger offense. That's exactly it. Let's take a quick uh, 30 second break back to the station on Eagle Sports. 
You still don't need to buy no ugly shirt now. Mm-hmm. At Mud Creek Graphics, we have over 23 years of experience bringing you the very best in apparel printing. Our exceptional graphic artists will work with you to create beautiful custom-designed T-shirts for any occasion. But that's not all. Mud Creek is there for you for the printing of banners and signs that will get your message across to everyone. We love supporting our local schools every year, so for your custom T-shirts, signs, banners, embroidery, and more, like Mud Creek Graphics on the Book of Faces or visit us at 211 Greenville Street. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back. 52-14 is your score. The Tigers, uh, I feel bad. Riverdale, let them get down. Uh, it, uh, they scored, and the Tigers, in three plays, put the ball in the end zone. And a, a knee taken after another more kick. It's a 30. Yeah, another short kick there. Doing the smart thing this time, learned his lesson. That was Trent Colston. Cotson, uh, take that back. Number 22 for Riverdale. Well, they'll take first down and 10 around the 30. Well, they just did something here at the stadium that I want to make sure that we do for our fans. The, the PA announcer said, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this game is a running clock. It will end soon. Call your mom and daddy. And tell them to come and get you. No later. So, so let, me, let me tell you, if, if you are waiting for your child to come home for this game, Head on to Troop High School. Yes, <laughs> they'll be getting there early tonight. They told the bu- they told the bus drivers to start the buses at <laughs> halftime. So they not only do they want us out of here, but they want their own kids too. Crank up the buses. Got to get go. got to get everyone home safe. Fogler, flushed out of the pocket, throws it. He got a good ball intercepted by guess who? <laughs> Sinkfield. <laughs> Love it. What a game this young man's played. Sinkfield, great game tonight. Just ran a touchdown, got an interception. He's been he's been big as far as um, receiving the ball tonight. We have him down for seventy plus yards passing. Mm-hmm. Of course, might have a hundred yard passing, hundred yard rushing. Running, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so as well. Yeah. So while, while they uh, make the change, let's go thirty seconds back to the station on Eagle Sports. Hey, Perry, I hear the CDC has approved the new coronavirus booster, and you've got it. Yes, Coleman, we received the Pfizer and Moderna bivalent booster. It's available. Um, it's available for your prime, either after your primary series or either your third or fourth booster two months after your last vaccine. So come by and see us. Come in and ask the pharmacist here at Holmes Pharmacy any questions, and you can find them on Commerce Avenue, inside the Piggly Wiggly, and in Hamilton. HomesPharmacy.com. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. There's another first down for the Troop High School Tigers, but I think we have a flag on the play. Yeah. Looks like a first flag again. I mean, great pulls, great fakes by the quarterback, but it seems like um, it's going to be an ineligible man downfield. <laughs> you know, now, up until this year, I knew the rule existed. But very few times I see it called. That was probably the seventh time I've seen that thing called this year. Yeah. It may be one of those, you know, a lot of times officials will get together early in the season and say, this is something we're really going to watch for. Right, really right, for. right. Maybe this is the thing of this year, but yeah. dang, is it really the one that's causing a lot of problems in ball games? Or? Yeah, yeah. That, for that play, again, that was a big one against Riverdale. Maybe that's the only way that – I'm not going to say they're trying to help them, but that could be a, a focus point for the officials. Well, we're offside. We – we do run off sides that time. Again, we got a new quarterback in the sink field. And uh, are they cutting the lights off? Yeah, it's, it's dark. Yeah. Okay, it, it feels like it's getting – okay, I think what's happened, the light above us where the, the uh, coaches were was on, and they, the coaches have left the booth. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. so they cut the lights off as they go. <laughs> and I was like, what just happened? Yeah, yeah. Um, two straight penalties there, but as we were saying, you were saying a new quarterback, and plus we got – um, New Jersey's on the offensive line as yeah. well. Yeah. Getting some of those reserve guys into the ball game. Sinkfield getting ready for the snap. Now it's going to be first down and 20. Trips to the right side, handoff into the line. And good job by Riverdale to uh, hold us up there at the 35. Clock ticks down, 549. 52 to 14 is your score. Seeing Braden Atchison getting into the contest now for the Tigers, as well as other fresh jerseys. Want to let these guys' parents hear hear their name called on the radio. It's tough as quick as they're moving everybody in and out. I'm telling you, very quick. Sinkfield looking to throw the ball. Heads up, we head up field, get back yeah. to the original line of scrimmage. <laughs> 
to the 45. On the catch, Parker Townsend, number 80 for the um, Tigers there, picking up about nine yards. Charlie, it's interesting to see these kids try to make some moves that they've made all, like I said, all we can practice. Oh, yeah. We've been the opposing team, but now it's our time to get on the field. Ashton Williams lined up on the left side wide. We thought we had got that out of that announcer there. Yeah. Haven't had any third downs this contest. <laughs> Trips this near side. Sinkfield rolls this way as a man in his face. Throws. Complete at the 50. 40. And a first down for the Tigers. Number 80 makes the reception. Parker Townsend again. That's two in a row. Yeah. 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 Big wheels keep on rolling. Freshman wide receiver. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, clock is still running, 424 left in the contest. He, he's a tall kid, too, Fred. He is. He is. A little more meat. Give him 10 to 15 more pounds, and he's going to be a great-looking receiver. Well, he's a little cold. He's got long sleeves on, so <laughs> I think he might be playing the stand on the sideline a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah. you got to keep moving you if you keep... don't get in the game exactly. a lot. Sinkfield makes the handoff. Into the line like a bowling ball goes 34. Yeah, number 34. Let's call his name Quintavious Grissom. Yeah, Braden Smith, number 77, coming in uh, for the Tigers. Fresh blood on that offensive line. We have number 66, Detorian Blackman, coming in as well. Tell you, man, got to call these names quick because, again, it's under, right, right at three minutes left. Continues to take down 52-14. That's our score. These young Tigers want to put some more on. Looking at the LaGrange High and uh, North Clayton, they're at 62 to nothing. 62-0. They, they want one more point so they can beat troops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's homecoming now. They're going to try to get everything they can. you got to give all the ex-grangers what they paid to see. I need somebody to text me the, the king and queen and let me know yeah. who won. Up the middle, go the Tigers. That's going to be Sinkfield. Just takes a snap, and he just won't go down. Finally, they uh, get him down. I mean, it seems like Sinkfield because we've seen him in the in the action with the ones, um, and uh, he has a different spark. You yep. know, he's up in the line. He's, he's steadily always keeping his feet moving, trying to find the next place to run. But fans, as you just heard, what down it is is third and four. Brought to you by Rogers Barbecue. <laughs> yeah. So third down for the Tigers. Clock ticks to two thirty-four. St. Phil with a man behind him, calls for it, turns, hands the ball off, and they read it well. Yeah. On the carry down, 29, um, Tyreon Smith. 25. 25? Yep. Called that wrong. Scratch that. That's Turtle Vines. That's Turtle. <laughs> My two favorite candies roll into one kid. Yeah. Last last week, they say when Turtle scored, the fans went wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the, the guys on the sideline went wild. Yeah. That yeah. was what was so great. So he's one of the hardest working kids in practice, but not the fastest, but to see him score. Well, his name's Turtle. I mean, come on. <laughs> if he was Rabbit Vines, he could run. Four challenge here. About five. Seafield banks up. I think he's going to kick. Quick kick. Yep. And just push. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Rolls down. <laughs> Ball down at the six-yard line. What can't he do? I'm telling you. What hasn't he done? Wow. <laughs> Ball goes all the way down inside the 10. Yeah. For awesome. a, cl a classic quick kick. Yeah. You know, that's a piece of an arsenal that you don't see that much anymore. We talked about it, man. We said running back, receiver, cornerback, quarterback, placeholder, but now punter. Now, play, now, now kicker. <laughs> we got a head kicker. <laughs> <laughs> He's a one-man team. Yeah, yeah. Great, great. I mean, and you don't miss a beat. He's active. We, he's shown you're that he take, can throw the ball. You're not taking a step back when yeah. he walks in. Yeah, you've shown that he can throw the ball. He runs the ball as well. Uh, maybe not the same stats as we've seen with our starter, the star Teo Todd, but, again, not missing a beat, not missing a beat. Here comes Riverdale. Hand off to their tailback, go around the left side. And he's bit by some young, hungry Tigers. Yeah. Picks up about three. That may be the final play. So a couple of young guys out there. Yeah, yeah. You know that play. I think they're going to line up now. On the 50, that might be the last play of the ball game. Uh-oh. 
Uh, they're going to be upsetting LaGrange. 62-6 is the final. Oh, oh, another score on them. Gave up a score. That will be the last play of the game. 52-14. to 14. Tigers continue to put lots of points up on the board yeah. in a contest. But I uh, credit this Riverdale team with not giving up. We'll talk about that when we return as we give you a little bit of a post-game show. We're live from Clayton County, the True High School Tigers, big winners in the region tonight by a score of 52-14 on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. It's T.O.W. here at Kilogrange. It's October, and that means Kilogrange is going pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. As always, we will be donating a portion of our sales to our local nonprofit, Breast Friends for Life. Even though the walk has already been completed, this year you can still make donations. Our inventory is the best we've had in some time. So come by and see us at 1217 Lafayette Parkway or shop us online at keelagrange.com. Help support your local economy. And God bless America. Hello, I'm Steve Butts, pharmacist at the Medicine Cabinet on Moody Bridge Road. At the Medicine Cabinet, we hope to make you feel right at home in our stores. Our mission is and always has been to provide service that is exceedingly abundantly above anything a customer could ask. We serve you from three locations in LaGrange on Moody Bridge Road, Vernon Street, and our newest location at Lee's Crossing. At the Medicine Cabinet, we proudly offer a drive through window, delivery service, and immunizations. We're grateful for your business and look forward to continuing our service to you for years to come. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House, a southern tradition since 1945, where we only serve U.S. farm-raised catfish. And now you can order online on Facebook or just type Rogers Barbecue LaGrange on your Google Google search engine and order right there. Then pick it up and enjoy it for the office, your family, or just you. Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House is open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Or just search on Google Rogers Barbecue and Catfish House in LaGrange. Life costs money, sometimes lots. First Franklin Financial has loans for living. Our Hogansville and LaGrange branches offer personal loans with payment plans to fit any budget. Stop by and meet the friendly Franklin folk at the location near you. Visit 1FFC.com to learn more. All loan terms and applicable APRs depend on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested and may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage Licensee, number 5656. Now let's get back to the action. Troop High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Welcome back to the High School Tiger Football. The High School Tigers with a big win tonight especially in the region contest as things line up uh, with a score of 52 to 14 against the Riverdale Raiders. Yeah. Uh, i tell you what, and from, from the jump, uh, the Tigers went down, uh, scored. Uh, the Riverdale uh, scored right back, but then it was just kind of over for the Riverdale offense until the uh, second half. Uh, the running clock, the whole second half read, and, yeah. it, well, the game just flew from there. I mean, I know it was, it was 24 minutes because you had 12 and 12, but it felt like it went a lot quicker than that. Exactly. They're, you know, you got to give credit to Riverdale. As you said, they continued to fight in the third quarter. They extended the drive with the running clock all the way down to 29 seconds, I think, right there at the end of the third quarter and did score. So um, they, they do have something to work on as far as if you look at the film. But everywhere else, it was shut down, lights out. Um, the Tigers really came out to play tonight. They were able to, um, again, score right after that, um, coming back in the score against um, Riverdale. So, again, um, great, great great game tonight. 52 points on the board, um, taking their uh, average up a point instead of going backwards. Yep. You know, in defense, um, again, having something to work on, continuing to get better every game as well. I'm just uh, very, very impressed by so many players tonight. Uh, I want to start with Logan Sinkfield. Uh, he's a young man that did everything you can do on a football field tonight for this team. Uh, we, you know, he was uh, on the offensive side. Uh, he played quarterback tonight. Uh, I'm sure he blocked for, for some folks. Yeah. Uh, and then he gets on defense, plays lights out on that side, and then he punts the ball. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. come on. Interception. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah. No, I forgot and about the interception. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's also able to uh, take the ball on the extra points. So, again, just uh, a tremendous young man, a great asset to this team, someone who's everywhere. Quay Moss, uh, what can you say about the way he was catching the ball tonight? Yeah. Uh, he had at least seven catches, uh, some of them in the same place. Yeah. But uh, extending the play, that's one of his great strengths, his yards after catch. Uh, I'd love to see that stat for him because I'm sure that it's uh, it's very strong. Yeah. Uh, we saw, again, we uh, Poitras come in, uh, have a couple of catches tonight. 
Uh, had one of the best catches of the night going up, uh, catching right there at the two-yard line. Yeah. And ends up flailing his back. So a full effort catching, as, uh, as you pointed out, at the highest point uh, to, uh, to make that reception and keep a drive alive. Uh, just so many different guys. Of course, we tell Todd, uh, what can we say? Yeah. Uh, it was interesting that Todd let a lot of other guys get the, get the job done tonight. The coaching yeah. staff uh, didn't put all their eggs in the, in the tail Todd basket. 